Oh, there's no commercial break. Get fucked. Um, continue as you were. <laughs> My bad. Uh, is the stream's back? Yeah, I think it, it I see it. Let's say huh. we'll re continue from the point there where you go. were saying, is there anyone outside my ask? room? Right, okay, yep, yeah, yeah. So, move past that. To which case, I'm a shit housing and about to roll a dice, so. And we're speaking in hushed voices. You are. Yes, speaking in hushed voices. You know, Zamani, that is an interesting question. If you had asked me that, maybe even just a year ago, I probably would have said that I would have tried to take the throne. But I don't think that is quite the answer I would give at the moment. You're right. In fact, I have learned that perhaps more, more of my ambition lies between leading our people in other ways. Not actually on the throne itself. There is more ways to be influential, more ways to lead. And I can do that without usurping my siblings. That would probably be for the best, at least as mm. far as, you know, familial relations and all that fun shit. Of course, of course. I should probably speak to her then. Unless she said not to, you know, tell anything to me and you, you did. It, it was very much a, I want to tell you this in confidence and then me realizing that we hadn't discussed it at all and being that, you know... You do come before her, I wanted to talk to you. So mm. if you want to talk to her about it, that would be cool. But can you do it in a really subtle kind of way of like, hey, I, talk we haven't talked it. in forever. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, I should probably do that then. The kind that doesn't betray our, our newfound trust as mm. sisters-in-laws. Especially before we go into any um, well, formal things together, it'd be good to clear up any any yeah. feelings like that. Yeah. Right, well, thank you for bringing that up, Samani. Yeah. I, I just appreciate I also wanted you. to know where you stood. Of course. And you're quite right. I I don't think that much of a uh, position suits me at the moment. At the very least, I don't think I'll be able to fill that role with my current, uh, uh, I suppose, current mission. Collecting the shards, oh, so working on the surface. Please don't make me a queen of your people. And then there's also that. I couldn't do that to you. God, could you imagine? No. Handmaidens absolutely. every morning waking you up, getting you ready. I, th I think that would be enough to rule it out for you. Yep. That's, thank you. I, I love you appreciate to death. Don't you. Don't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be the final straw. Nothing it else. It would be but... a straw. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. I do appreciate you looking out after my family. I know you've only just met most of them, but... True, but they're people that you care about, and they clearly care about you. That's true. So you've met now Elvenus, you've met my brother, you've met my father for a brief time in Ereal. Also, oh, we also went for an excursion yesterday, it was secret. I now oh, know how to speak out the castle. Excellent, excellent. Did you take the passageway? Actually, which one did you take, take you down? The I'm one curious. under the stairs that then goes under the castle, and I got to see all oh. the cool water now things. Roll me a history check. Yeah. Uh, okay, I actually need to look at my modifiers for that, because that was a pretty average roll. Um, <laughs> oh no, an average roll. <laughs> 18. 18. Plus 12. You have <laughs> no idea what he's talking about. He never showed me that one. Oh. Maybe it's a new one. Maybe it's a new one. Maybe it's, it's no, one okay. that's like, Yeah, that's you just watch. tell yourself Maybe. that, sweetheart. It's fine. I, I don't think the amount of times he snuck me out that he wouldn't show me. He wouldn't dare one not show me that one there. I, I'm going to have a word with him. I'm going to have a word with him. You mean to say that your dearest father, who is mm -hmm. understanding of what it is like to have to enter this family as an outsider, would not want to share some a special moment with me to get to show me something that is special that he never showed anybody else so Absolutely. that I could have that small piece of solace to know. I mean, when you put it like that, that makes me feel like a little bit of a dick, but yeah. There's oh, a, I wonder there's why, a little... huh? <laughs> At the door now. Oh, come in. So, you see your father there, and Kalasindu, your heart sinks for a moment. Because you see, he has this large folder that on the front has the papers signifying the completion of your cars in Veer. And deep within, you know, lies within a copy of every family portrait from your youth to your leaving. <laughs> <laughs> you hit me something serious. 
What are yeah. you doing with that? I have pictures to share. I've got no, paintings. No, 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 no. <laughs> you do not just get to come and step. And how does this all heard about this new passageway that you just showed her? I, I didn't know about that one. There's no new passageway. Fuck! Oh, no, there goes. <laughs> Uh oh. oh, oh, oh. Yeah. No, we're back. Oh, we're back. Oh. There you go. We're back. The stream is still frozen for me, though. Oh, it's back. Let's hey. go. It's going to stream her beach and shout, fuck. It's frozen again. <laughs> Wait, is it actually? What it the is, fuck is happening yeah. to Streamlabs? Is, no? is your internet okay? No. I'm the yeah. one with the storm. No, it's it's fine on my TV. I've got, I have, I was running there for quality assurance. No, it's back. It's back. We're good. The stream is back as well. Okay. Shit just wants to be fucking. I'm guess. just gonna do it. It may lag for a second. I'm gonna do a quick um, speed test on my internet. Okay. To so chat, how are you? How are, are you, lovely peeping? How are you, lovely people doing today? I thought you said, How are you, lovely peeping? I'm like, You can't. Don't call <laughs> them peeping. That's just rude. You can't just say that. You don't know all of them. I'm sure some of them would be, but damn. You can't just assume that about people on the internet. Look, look, look. I know some people on Twitch, all right? And there's there's a lot of uh, peepers out there. I mean, to be fair, everyone does have two sets of eyes. That That is how it would... They are called okay. the peepers, right? The internet Wait, should be fine. Yes. <laughs> you heard me, Vidi. You heard me. You heard me. <laughs> don't make me repeat myself. You're getting accused of being a peeper. That's what it is. <laughs> two, two sets of eyes. Everyone has two sets of eyes. Fuck, did I say two you sets of eyes? You did say two sets of eyes. Yeah, you said two sets of eyes. I wasn't going to touch that because I knew what you meant. Gonna, but, yeah. Why are you doing that, huh? You don't have to point out my wrong wording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you know I, I don't know. I, I defended you. I defended yeah, you. You, know, man, you do a challenge issue. Come on stream and don't fuck up a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you live on stream and we'll analyze everything you say. <laughs> Look, Jen, you do a great job of covering up your two sets of eyes, okay? We see you, you have these ones and then you have these ones. Yeah, these right. ones are yeah, fuck. fucking. Damn. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I'm a minority. Oh, yeah, all right. Like, <laughs> yeah, me, yeah, that's what I thought. Back. Get fucked. <laughs> get some glasses. Yeah, I defend you for being a peeper. What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> Happens when you're a stinker. All right, so Kazan, you're following uh, so You, you yep, shouted, "What I... is this new passageway?" There's no new passageway. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. I see. I'll I'll pretend not to be hurt, Father, but that's that cuts deeper. No, no, no. Let's, t let's take it back about two minutes ago when you were talking about. Well, when you put it that way, it makes me seem like kind of a dick, huh? Well, let's ignore that part of it and let me Wait, just show what, you that, Father. No, what did I miss? Oh, oh well, you see, I was I was just recounting some of my adventures with the family. God damn it, sorry. Mm -hmm. And I, I told them about how how we went out in a very sanctioned adventure. Absolutely. And, and he mm -hmm. asked which way we went, and so I I told him with the stairs, and we got to go under underneath the castle and see the mage rings and the pipes and everything, and how cool it was. And he said that he didn't know how it was that he was upset that you would take me on something and not him even though you know you've had your entire lives to get to know each other and of everybody you know what it's like to be an outsider in this family and be brought in and how surprising and how different it can be and just wanted a moment of solace and camaraderie between the two of us oh you know that's because he's a snitch every passage i told him he told us that it's not a snitch <laughs> i'm sorry it's not my fault mother always caught us sneaking out yeah i always said every child in this family knows the ones i showed him <laughs> It's okay, wow. I won't show him. <laughs> That's right, you Although, guys can have your secrets. I did tell him it had to do with stairs, so... There is a lot of stairs in this castle. So There's a lot of stairs, stairs here, that does not narrow it down. I can't wait to watch you, so, to stumble upon you checking every single stair for this passage. I know you, you'll do it. I mean, yes, but that's besides the point. Is so, it? Where, where, where did you take her? Where in the city? We went to the Azari district. It was great. Hmm. Beautiful area. Watch it. My wife's gonna learn this. <laughs> don't you, don't you don't you snitch on him? I don't snitch. I do not. I don't. I swear on my life. I I I'm I'm not a snitch. All right. Maybe not. I would now. not have my my memory be remembered <laughs> as as a snitch. 
You're right. The Mad lies Prophet Talisa and the Snitch. Yeah. The first starless to return and also a snitch. I can't wait. I can see it now. I can I see mean, that. I can see that. Look. Born a snitch, died a hero. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> I, I like to think I've redeemed myself from being a snitch somewhat. I hope. But look, if, you know what? I'll work towards it. If, I'll if, work towards if your it. mom doesn't find out that we went out, perhaps you can learn this next passageway. There is more in this, in this, this castle that I'm pretty sure even I know. I oh, know. You crumble when, long when, when mom it. looks at you. <laughs> she has a way of um, just knowing when you're lying, of just weeding it out of you. It's called She's definitely an inquisitor in another life. Yeah. Look, it is what it is. <laughs> you lose a lot, you don't win much. <laughs> uh, anyway, you were going to show some terribly embarrassing photos of me, I assume. Oh, all of them. Oh, oh good. Wait. Let's bring it on. Just thankfully, you know, it's just you here and not everyone else. That would have been even worse. The, not the other door to the bedroom opens, <laughs> and you just see everyone standing in line. Don't worry. Everyone knows these ones. They're the big versions around the castle. Hmm. No, oh, I can't wait. wait. Are these for me? Do I get to keep these? Yeah, it's a small little collection. I thought, you know, it would be what? good to have some. Oh, I would no, love no, no, that. No, 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 no. A little copy of his cars and beer papers. There's one of yours in there as well. You know, just there's room to oh. add more paintings of each of you. Oh, we can put them side by side. Yeah, it's a little engagement yeah, present for me. Like that. That's, that's oh, actually kind you. of nice. Thank you for that. that. Hey, look, it's a... Uh, when you have this much money, it's kind of just... You go for the sentimental shit, because... Just can buy whatever you want, so it means nothing. God, that's going to take some getting used to. <laughs> it kind of takes the excitement out of everything. Hmm. I guess that's fair. So, Pictures. Let me see. So, Which one's your favorite? You... I can say, like, they go with this thing. So, you see there's like this very... He brings up to his favorite, which is Calisinder's first day at Fort Yerickson. A painting of him in fresh armor for his cars in beer. Standing there with a the glaive, there. like... <laughs> oh, that's the biggest fake smile you've ever had. I don't know if it was fake. I was quite happy. I'm it just not very good at, at smiling. Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> I'm not very good at smiling. <laughs> You know what? I'm I'm just gonna let you look at the photos because I'm not, I'm not doing any anything justice for myself today. No, I'm enjoying your live commentary. I'm all right, all right. So what's 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 the next one in there? You got me my first day. What's what's the next? I was all just right. a little guy. There. It was my first day. All right, let's go to your um. Well, the Inquisitor's ball. As he flips a massive page, you see Cavus in here in this very formal press suit. Wow. Standing by himself, you see a painting in this this scene rendition. Arellan and his betrothed are dancing, and Calisinder is just oblivious to it. <laughs> he's sad, like almost in Calisinder is very you know like what? that tourist stuff out of. He just stands for the the painter every time, just ready for <laughs> like the entire scene happens. But Calisinder is almost the same in every picture. <laughs> you braided your hair for this one. No, his sister's oh. braided his hair for that one. Oh. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. I, they did a great job. Thank you. I thought so. I was very happy with it. Hi, Calamos. There you go. Cow to cow. <laughs> We're not going to cow. There's now three cows. That's Especially true. That's even more confusing. Um, right. Uh, that, that was... It looks a lot more awkward. Now that we're going through yeah, them very side stiff. by side, but I was quite happy with some of those pictures. Mm. Oh wait, I've got a like hundredth birthday. As he lives okay. smaller, it's the same thing with Calisander's next to a cake that has candles lit, and he's just. Wow, you look <laughs> so enthused about this one. Look, I was told to stand still for the for the picture, and I did. Hmm. I could have been a bit more creative with it and shown a bit more life, but that's the hindsight of experience and age. Just you wait for your <laughs> wedding paintings. They'll be the same. No, Zamani's going to make sure that they're not. Trust me. 
I'll probably request a copy of what you just done. I like that. Just <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I think we get the entire bridal and groom party just standing like Callus India for one painting. Just like All right, that feels order. slightly insulting when you say it like that. <laughs> what if everyone's just like tea posing? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, arms by the side, yeah. Yeah. They're just eye yeah. posing. <laughs> Well, I'll um, leave you with that little sentiment. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, you have to hold those for life now. Oh, Make sure the eyes don't see them. It, if they disappear... It will probably be Zelly. Oh, no. I'm sharing these with her. I'm, I'm telling you. If these disappear... Number one, I know where to find more. And I know now that I can True. get here almost immediately. And number two... We're going to have a problem. I promise you, I will never take these pictures from you. <laughs> Good. It's quite sweet that you've got them of me. I quite like it. So as Amrathan turns to walk away, he leans over where you're sitting. He puts a hand on your shoulder, Callus, and he just gets close to you. He goes, that's when they're angry. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps walking. <laughs> uh... The like father, the like son. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> so, where are we going to put these up at Ariel? Are we going to make them public or <laughs> hang them like up in know? the main? It's that sounds ominous. No. Uh, hang on, if you show them to Zelly, there's going to be versions of them with me with <laughs> hooves on them. There's going to be Isn't versions that... of you that can move. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Dude, she can bring those paintings to life. Don't forget. Don't worry, Kelsey. Just that can make you forget this. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <clears throat> Stop it. Right, so. that's not... Um, you know, not... It'd be kind of nice to see that. It's not even going to lie. Yeah. What's As the name you... of the kid that does the paintings? So it is. Just so I um, forget. Lila, I want to say. I want to say. Yep. Um. No, Lila's the youngest one. Are you right? sure? I thought. No. Annette, I... you're thinking of as the youngest. Annette, yes, you're right. Sorry, I got Annette. Um, yeah. But Kelsey, you do see there is a painting in there that is new. Looks to be almost fresh. The most fresh. The colors the most vibrant. And you see it's unlike the others. All of you walking through the gates of Fort Yerkson. And that people just... Cool. Like, the crowd, the chorus. And it's very stylized of, like, you know... <laughs> Des, 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 hold up. Everyone else is walking through, Kalsin is just standing. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's <laughs> like you're standing at the front, just like... <laughs> yep. Why am I still doing it? Because that's just how you stand. I need to improve on this. Yeah, a little bit. All right, noted, noted, noted. Remember, return to the surface. I need you to give me proper posture lessons. How to stand. How to how to appear. What do you mean? So I, I need don't to give you awkward. proper posture. The the people who are going to teach you this shit is are down here. Well, the posture is great. It's just there's some there's no it's rigid. Yeah, but more about being you know a posture that doesn't make it look like I've got to stick up my ass constantly, which is great for settings like here. That's that's perfect in the palace. Wonderful. You want that. You know, Outside of it, it's probably that? not as much. Dancing. That's true. That's true. I'm not a terrible dancer, I'll have you know. I'm not terrible. I believe it. I, I wouldn't know, but I believe it. Um, You're full of surprises. I like to think I've still got a few things up my sleeve. That being said, I'm sure you'll learn most of them from my family here, but... And I absolutely can't wait. Hmm. Though speaking of that, I should probably see Elvinus before, before it's too late, before the dinner happens, just okay. to smooth over anything. Yeah. But I'll leave you with those photos and do with them what you want. Oh, I'm excited. Kalsindu will walk off to find, find his sister, or well, one but of them. As you walk, you turn around a corner and just sitting up on one of like the pedestals. Like where the statues normally sit, you see Val, your sister, legs crossed, still like her inquisitor. Now she's just like sharpening a dagger. 
Well, 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 braid boy, you come home. <laughs> that is quite an intimidating look up there. I mean, well done. No, thank you. She pops down. Thank you. It's nice to be back. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Are you sneaking off oh. to skulking around at this hour of night? Well, I was hoping to catch uh, catch a small visit with one of my dear sisters. Not you, but... Uh... Never me. I'm your last option always. Last Damn. option? That's a very, very rude way of putting it. I'll have you know, just because, I mean, look, between you and me, did you want me following you around like I followed Taladon around? No, but it was funny to see that happen. It was, it was. I'm surprised she allowed it and didn't just, you know, turn around and kick me. I would. I know you would have. You and I appreciate you. that. But how have you been, though? Busy All in the Inquisition, good. but... Good. That's oh, good. Yeah. Your absence was noted from it. We are all very curious as to why you left us for the service for so long. But... You're clearly doing good work with the Inquisition. I hope so. I hope that I've proven that my mission up there is, well, was important. There's no denying it was important. Whether it was sanctioned is the debate, I believe. Well, the initial mission was sanctioned. I just mm. decided to continue with it after some people decided to turn back. So I'm if you want to go safe. through loopholes, thank you. I'm glad that, for what it's worth, everyone here seems to be doing well and safe. Unless there's been things that I, I don't know about. Well, we Not fought sure. against the Emperor of Ghouls, which was interesting. How was that? I imagine you went with them. Of course. Everyone but Elvanus and Mother went. I fought alongside brother and father, and it was glorious. I even fought alongside some prescient elves, which was... How was it? I mean, I'm willing to try anything once, but it wasn't quite my taste. As long as you tried it. And as long as, you know, no one turned on each other and started fighting. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Not quite. How was that received here? Mother's uh, proclamation the word of our queen it was not questioned of course but as her daughter i'm curious what the feelings in the family were it was mother's proclamation no one would dare question it of course and i'm glad to hear it awful if we showed such a well, disunity amongst our ranks well, idealistic, perhaps. I hear it was the idea of your bride to be. It was. And then mentioned to myself and, well, had my assistance with it. So when, when should we expect you back in the Inquisitor's hold to submit? Reports of your findings. Well, the next few days will be rather busy, but I'll see if I can fit some time in for that visit. It might have to occur after the dinner, though. But I'll see what I can do before then. Tell me, how is everyone in the Inquisition doing at the moment? I imagine there's been quite a bit of a uh, change of some of their plans, with the shards being found on the surface. Yes, no. We did do work, but we have not been sitting idle for the past almost five years. Do not worry. Of course not. Uh, the one thing I do know is the Inquisition is never idle. Yeah. Well, there's plenty of work to do. Your, um... General Nerith is fond of your expedition. Amongst the leadership. Really? That is perhaps yeah. how far it goes. <laughs> that is the most uh, support I can expect of him. 
but at least it's nothing. Uncle Kaleware is not exactly. Well, too happy. He always was a bit more of a traditionalist in that scheme of things. So was the Lady Vildress, so you can understand why they're not. Of course. Have they demanded my presence yet, or is it still a cordial request? It's an invitation, not a mandate yet. All right. Well, I'll endeavor to keep it that way. I presume it's probably to do with General Nerith's association with father's family and Fort Yerickson. They do find themselves so crossed with our domestic security. Hmm. But, regardless of the Inquisition's approach or opinion, I'm happy to have my brother back. I'm happy to see you again. I've missed all of you. And whilst you may say that you are, what was it, not my first option on whatever you said. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've spoken to everyone else other than me, have you not? Well, I don't know. Cal kind of approached me and bear hugged me and then said a few things and walked off, which I don't really know if you would classify that. I'm not going to hug you, if that's what you're going No, that's at. all right. No, that's all right. That's... That'd be a little bit strange. That would... Yeah. No, that would be a little bit... I would assume something has changed if you were to hug me. Yeah, but you know it may not have changed? Your hair still looks what? the length that could be braided for the upcoming dinner. All right, on that note, I need to continue walking along. Um, you can run from the Inquisition, but you cannot stop us. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. That's the one thing I can always depend upon. But truly, though, it is good to see you again. I'm glad everything has been going well for you. I have done my part. We shall see what comes next. We shall. Go on. I shall let you continue on with your night, dear That's, sister. That is... That is a loud baby brother. <laughs> Go on, turn your back and oh, walk please. to Elvanus. Thank you for your permission. You can also know, walk off with a smirk and... Can you run my perception? Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, uh, that is a dirty 20. Yep, that's okay. You make your way to Elvanus' room. Who's, who's watching me? Who's watching me, Des? Who's following me? So, as you make your way to Elvanus' room, you... Dun, 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 on the door. The handmaiden opens it up and goes, oh, My prince, let's say. Take a deep bow. May I speak to Elvanus? I will see if he is free, my leash. Um, oh, of course. And they walk off, and you just kind of hear a like call from wherever she is, deeper within her chamber. She goes, "No, oh, yes, let him on in. It's fine." Let's walk on in. My schedule does not normally permit so many guests in one day, baby brother. What can I do for you? Well, I came to check off my dear sister. Has Talman been... is doing fine. Please. I mean, it's good to hear it because she would never say that to herself, but I'm, I'm glad to hear that she's doing all right. <laughs> she's settling back in well. As much as I haven't Just... been a... It's, it was always tough competition for your affection, and I sort of <laughs> exited the race when I started my training, didn't I? How are you? You did. You look well. Minus a hand. I'm... Minus a hand, minus... I'm doing well, though. I'm doing well. All things considered. It has been a harrowing year or so, but... It's good to be back, though. It feels, well, rejuvenating, somewhat. It's good to know that everything here is going along as, well, as close as I left it. Perhaps not as, as you left it. It's been a while since you were truly at home. 
that. How have you been doing now? I'm busy, as always. Of course, of course. How how goes your preparations? For hey, Realm of Rust with a party of 20. Hello. Ooh. What's up, Hello, gamers? Guys. How you going? We got, Is we got some big gamer. Big gamer. We're playing D&D. &D. We're also playing D&D. &D. Um, Cody Joe, thank you for the follow. We're um, we're doing a lot of roleplay today, political so roleplay, as Calisindia, the noble of the starless elves who live in the world below, has made his way back to his home in time for the most difficult encounter that they can face yet. Family dinner. And mm -hmm. awful, awful. Yep. Awful. Well, um, tell us about your game, tell us how it went. Um we'd love to hear about yeah, it. Yeah, tell us about your session. Were you playing today? Were you doing world building? What were you, what were you up to? Um, strap in for a lot of roleplay, because we will not be doing yes. combat today. No. If you My have questions, kind of pop session. them off in chat. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um this map is making nice. a... Oh, go ahead. Ooh, map making. Oh. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Jake. You're welcome. This is my contribution. I hope you enjoy yeah. it. Wonderful. Yeah. Flip it, please. Um, I guess you get, it goes well, very I well. What I just said. Uh, you're speaking, so Calcinder has just approached his sister, the next in line for the throne for the Starless Kingdom, a being of elves descended from the first, first creations of gods in this setting. Yeah, uh, the Star Elves, which Calcinder has actually returned to. This overlay is incorrect because it's our old one, because we had three people today. Yes. I didn't have time to swap it, but um, mm -hmm. it, it goes very, very well. We're talking to family, because Calcinder has a living family, so we get to actually interact with them. Okay. Yeah, look, the one of the few D&D &D characters out there that still has a living family. Who would have thought? <laughs> so, you approach your sister, you asked her how she was, you asked yeah. her what has yeah, much yeah, changed, yeah. how she has been. No, you didn't see me too much after you yeah, assumed more of your training and more of your duties, but I still remember our time tale fondly. Before you were consumed by it quite as much. <clears throat> I apologize for not being able to be there for you a little bit more. Perhaps for all of my yes, siblings a little bit more. You don't need to apologize. You have grand designs to work towards. Yes, this... um. Heavy as the crown is what they say, is it not? Indeed, I have... I have heard that. How goes your preparations, though, your training? Well, there was a slight whiplash. I was preparing to analyze battle lines for war against the president. And instead, now mm. I am conducting couriered messages back and forth between us and their council. That will be uh, quite the challenge for you once you uh, ascend the throne. Inherit it's not a, so bad. a very different diplomatic situation with the present than you were trained for. I'll inherit another legacy that is not my own. <laughs> yeah. You'll create right. much more, I'm sure, of that. That That's is your own. I do have a girl's night planned with your betrothed. She is... I think I, I should get her help me to sign most of my most of my letters for the night. That should help. Oh, me. she'll love that. She I'd even work. do not tell the kitchen. Mm. There is a half bottle of wine I have had saved for quite some time. No. Get out of here. Well, I'm glad to that. hear that you'll be enjoying a night with her. Especially if she is to be your maid of honor. Yes, that is um, an excellent idea by mother. Is that what you think? But I haven't made any friends in the past five years. And you know I did not have any before that, so... I did not have anyone other than a political pick. I suppose that's right. Must be a... Lonely life, I suppose. Yeah, I have. The city of Vision Alexander are my friends. My people are my friends. I shall find solace in the weather court. Many do like to speak to me. But... How can they know I'm me if I do not friend. know myself? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's one like, no, I'm going to give her a friend. Go I'm going to be her friend. We're going to be a 10 pound. <laughs> 
force. Plus, I always had my teachers. I had the few people I met along my cars and via rest their souls. Just... Indeed. I mean, look, I scarcely think I'm much better. I had a very small handful of friends while I was here. I believe you. And that didn't you. really change until... Well, I like to say a small handful. That sounds a bit better than two, but... And I Quality don't of the think quant. that changed. Exactly. But the surface changed that, I like to think. I have heard that I have become much more approachable and friendly, according to some. But, baby brother, you've always been approachable and friendly. See, I've had mixed reports on that. I have never had an issue approaching you. I've summoned you as needed, and you've always been amicable in our conversation. See, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you agree. I didn't see it, but... You know. Interesting. So what can I do for you? What brings you to my chambers? I came to check up on you. It's been four years, well, over four years, nearly five years now since we last spoke in any great measure. Wanted to see my dear sister again. I would have been here sooner, but Val stopped me on my way to your chambers, and... Well, that was an interesting conversation. Have you received her correspondence yet? What do you mean by that? In an effort to feel like I did before I started my training, I will leave it a surprise. I suspect only Taldwin and I have received the letter. Should I be concerned, or...? No, it appears the right length. Right, right. Well, I hope it isn't too, um, alarming. You'll be fine, baby brother, but trance lightly, as woes await you in these walls, I'm told. I'm very concerned right now, and I know that I probably shouldn't be, but... All right. All right. I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious now. Maybe a granola bar. Granola bar. Sorry. Um, no, you should not be concerned. We will not harm you. We never harmed you. No. Physically, no. Emotionally, mentally scarring me. Oh, absolutely. Um, the embarrassment while this I... conversation is happening, um, Zamani, your past perception is enough as it's made apparent. You hear something sl like slide underneath the door. There's a boom, 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 and you hear footsteps run. Okay. I'm gonna go peek out because there's also guards so I know that you don't see anyone so running you do see there's like this small little like A5 card in stock on your ground very fancy I'm assuming yes yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pick it up it open is signed it by the, the lady Val and you open it up it says well Lady Zamani it is the belief of my sisters and I that we need to test your candor. We intend to braid Callus in his hair this night. There's like a little diagram sketch. Make sure he sleeps. Be the first to turn on him. <laughs> Choose your side wisely or face our wrath. God damn it, they're conspiring against me. No peace in my own, my own family's home. Zamani's going to grab, like, because I assume, like, their their rooms are, like, have a desk that's, like, stocked yeah. or something. Zamani's going to write her own response, and she's like, oh, you assume this is the first time I have turned against him? <laughs> he asks for it often. <laughs> I stand with you. And she's going to fold it up, and then the people who are outside the door is going to be uh, asked for directions to um, Val's room. Yeah, there's... They give you general directions up throughout. As you get to like the more upper echelons of the castle, which it gets fancier the higher up you go, and the, it, obviously it narrows up towards the top, and the rooms get smaller, but you see these like very, very like beautiful rooms. Some of them look like they haven't been touched in a while, and you find your way to the Lady Val's room. Yep. 
I'm just gonna do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> just... oh, oh, she's not even doing that. She's just gonna walk away. Yeah. Um... Because she kind of wants to meet everybody, so why would she sprint <laughs> away? And if anything, she's gonna fly away because that's like twice as fast. Yeah. You don't see anyone come for it. They. No one opens the door. But lines have been drawn in the sand. We know what happens tonight in Air in uh, in Hishnar Xandir. Yep. Dying but meanwhile, me. Kalasindia, you're talking to your sister. And she goes, yeah. You yeah. do not need to worry. Really? Really? That 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 is what you're saying to me? In After earnest. Being embarrassed my entire life by all of you. Hmm? I disagree with your statement as I exited from actively embarrassing you as soon as I started my training. You know what? You're off the hook. The other two, though, absolutely not. I'm and Kyle as well, he's also there. For one night. He also... What was that, sorry, Disc? She said, I may just come out of retirement for one night. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, the things that I do for my family. <laughs> I'm well then, and I'm overjoyed to see you home and in the Citadel once more. Too long had you gone in the Inquisitor's hold, mulling over books and furrowing your brow. I mean, look, I know Taldwin has kind of uh, cornered the whole uh, f over books and furrowing brows, but I like to think I'm a dab hand at it as well. Look, you, you take after her in so many ways. Hmm. But I do it better, though. Between us, we can admit that, at least. Can we? I have not seen your research. I suppose that's fair. I have been uh, doing Did a lot she of tell research, you? But... Tell me what? She has apparently published some form of thesis on the, the way the magic swirls within the world below that has gotten her offered tenure in the Evening Tide Tower before she turned it down to go look for you. She turned it down. She turned down that to go look for me. I'm going to have to word with her. She turned down a dream position for herself to come look for me. Now, that is unacceptable. Yes. But I hope it's still available for her. I'd hate to think she's missed out on that. I believe the position was filled, unfortunately. That is a bit unfortunate. But I'm sure she is the brightest of all of us. I'm sure something will come up. I thought you just wanted to admit that between you and I, you had done it better. I did kind of, yeah, yeah, you know what? I take that back. I take that back. Well, I will admit that the... a bit. Changed a little bit, but not at all. Changed a little bit, but not too much. Just, you know, grown a foot, foot taller and... Gain some weird flex in my eyes, but besides that, still the same. Honestly, I still think I'm taller than you in my tallest heels. All right, so that's... I know I'm short, but... Please. You were, but... Because Alvanus is like 6'11". <laughs> if she wears the yeah. eight, 8 inch heels, she's got you <laughs> dead to rights. Zamani has never felt so, like, inferiorly short. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't Zamani's like in like... a fucking hallway with, like, all model height women, just like... <laughs> It's runway like, walking the like, halls. Usually Even she's the guards. Just fine. Like mm -hmm. especially when she's in her in her heels, like she, like everything is fucking. She's great. She's kicking yeah. it, and now she's just like, what the fuck? Yeah. So wearing in our setting, like, elves average. Elf. A short elf in our setting is maybe six two, which is what Kalos India was like six three. Yeah, yeah. He was. He was like, considered short for an elf. Yeah. Our, yeah, so our setting high. elves are tall. And Zamani's yeah. five seven. Yeah. But is it'll it'll whittle. She usually wears heels though. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's, so she's like a short elf. Don't matter. Um <laughs> I must admit though, I wasn't quite expecting the um the re the return celebration that I did get. In fact I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to be received. That was that was interesting. Well, 
you are a prodigal son and a prophet of our people. That is true. That is true. I was just not aware of how much information had spread to everyone else in the city. Especially relating to the shards and you know, everything that had occurred on the surface. Well, your... I don't know if I can say friends, but the High Priestess of the Cathedral has preached of your journey with whatever way she has found information about it. It's not known quite publicly, but she has really? preached of you. I believe she was the first one to tell us you had come across a shard of our god. Interesting. Interesting. She found that out through before. fire, apparently. The Lady Annie Asha is meant to be the voice of the dying god, remember? You are the visions, perhaps she is the voice. Perhaps. Perhaps. But I... I should like to speak to her. Promptly. It seems as if we'll have a lot to discuss. But, um... I'm glad that she spread such a uh, positive note of my journey. Well, I, I assume if she was not, Mother would have declared her a heretic. So. <laughs> to be honest, I was half expecting to be returned here and be declared a heretic by half the members of the Inquisition, publicly. I'm sure they've done it privately, but publicly is another thing. We'll see to your safety. Do not worry. Thank you. I... Nobody moves against yeah. Thalcals here, without moving against all of us. They've tried in the past. And look how they fail. And fail again they will. That got morbidly s serious. That did. That did. I apologize. That is alright. There's a lot on my mind. On returning here, some of it more serious than others, I will admit, but amongst There's all the joy and lots celebration. Lots on my mind, too. And I feel the sympathy is shared between us in that regard. No. Please, you have a lot more to be concerned about. You're planning to inherit an entire kingdom, the entire future of our people. Yes. I very much would like you by my side for that. I feel like you and you will. Don't it's you just like a, a like a crack in her very regal like put forward exterior. There's just a, like a genuine smile. You are going to make a wonderful queen, and a queen of your own, not just in mother's footsteps. Her, she casts a large shadow with her legacy, but I'm sure that you do. Don't I'm don't. sure you'll make your own there, baby brother. I do. And if I can help in that, then you know that I will. I did mean to ask you, in purely a political sense, of course. Of course. Since I, I can no longer count on you for political marriage. Where do you see yourself in my court? What role do you think you play? What role would you like to play in my court? How safe are we talking in here? I mean, is it how private can these chambers here be considered? She just she looks up to the hand and she goes, "You're all dismissed. I'm safe with my brother." I'm sure if he wanted to do anything, even the assassins among you. Let's be honest. Let's say thank you. Leave. That is an interesting question, and something that I have considered quite a lot over the course of my journey. At the moment, I'm not entirely sure. Between you and me, I do not know even what will become of me by the end of my journey. I don't even know what how much of my mind would be left. There's a lot of uncertainties that I'm dealing with, but if there's one thing I've learned, it's that there is many ways that our people need to be led 
into the future. Many ways that the glory of Asian Harexandia needs to continue, and many different ways that I can help that with. I say this with care and with the due confidence that you will understand the privacy of me saying such things, but I think many of us have realized the Inquisition has perhaps overstepped its boundaries. Perhaps perhaps a little bit too overzealous in some of its some of its views, some of its pursuits. If anything, I should like to assist in curtailing that. Mother had I think Mother had you You're quite sussed from the moment she started speaking to you again. The Inquisition behind closed doors has started to spread dissidents towards you, perhaps you could say. Mm -hmm. Moving against the emissions, seeking out power for yourself, even some claims that you wish to ascend like the thieves of divinity. It is why, and if she has done as she was asked, you already know this, but why Relin was denied permission to be on the surface. I did not know that, but... Thank you for telling me, and I shall <laughs> There's like an off-screen like off stare of Alvanus be like, Fuck. I shall do my best, <laughs> best job at acting surprised when the news is broken to me. As unconvincing as that may be, I shall still put up the act. The mother intends to put Relin forward for a proper uh, leadership within the empty seat in the Inquisition. As his knowledge of magics is stronger than any, it is the the team. Liz, Zamani did not tell you about that, though, did she not? No, although we were distracted by father coming in, carrying photos of me from my cousin Via, and quite embarrassing. You remember that time you braided my hair? Yeah, he had photos of that. Which time? That's a good question, actually. I drew it myself there. But she did not tell me. However, that does sound like the <clears throat> more politically sound idea. Yes, I understand you want as much on the as surface, it's... but having two people within, there is also talk of mother marrying Arellan to Val to give him noble status as well. Ensure the loyalty that way. He has said he had a woman he wished to marry, but such things are very rarely important to us. Right. All right. I shall probably speak to Mother on that, just to discuss the whole idea, but... Val has proved very... as intimidating as she attempts to be, a useful informant on the inside. She is playing both sides expertly. It is our hope that she has not deceived us, I suppose, and that her loyalty remains with family above Inquisition. The Inquisition is split. Some remember you fondly. Some think you're work noble. Mm. Some think that the shards should be in the positions. I had expected as much, to be honest. Although, if anything, I expected it to be a bit more evident. But I suppose there'd be time for that. But I think to sum up your your question to me, I think I should very much like to occupy another role within leading our people. Not the throne, that is something I will happily leave to you. But something more along the lines, those lines. You would have your place if you we would get get what we want. 
the Inquisition would not go down without a fight. Well, of course it wouldn't. But there that's is. why we'll need to conduct this with the element of surprise and swift, decisive. House Shire theory is going to be very difficult to deal with. True. True. Although we have lost great houses before. We have. And as much as I would hate it to happen again, that is still a possibility. Or at the very least, if we can rally most of them to our side, then the others that I support the Inquisition should... Add a request on that regard. All right. If you were to lead the Inquisition in Chaya Theory is loyal to the Inquisition, if you were to produce an heir, we could marry them to Chaya Theory. It could that is... sway loyalty. Uh, the child born two men to this bridge. child would be half elven they would come of age sooner than full uh, blooded elf we could send them on their cousin beer on their 18th birthday that is in terms a... of elven movement that is quick to sway that is quick that is quick but that is something that i will need to discuss with lady zamani and to think over myself Think hard. I will. You know it to I be will. a good plan. I do. But there's a lot of other matters to consider. I understand that. may change it. You have other goals and aspirations. Other goals and aspirations, perhaps, but also, as I've said, a lot of uncertainty about my own future that I have not come to see a clear path through yet i can help you need only ask thank you sister but there are some things that i i do not know how much how much can be done from here the surface is well, i'll argue this until the day that i die but the surface is of great importance to us and that is where at the moment, at least, I find myself somewhat more important for the time being. That's all right. When I take the throne, should you need any help on the surface, I will not hesitate to give it. Mother may be slower to want to help the surface innately. But, of course. Speaking of the surface, what's your thoughts on the young prince that has come down here? Saladin. He vies for Val's hand in marriage. He is polite. He is understanding, of course. Of course. Mother does see Irelin as a more logical option, but... Arellan has put up request to not have to marry into the family. Mm -hmm. Taldwin would make a suitable bride for him. The thought of Taldwin marrying, though, is incomprehensible. It is her duty. Note. It is, and I'm sure that she will, but it is still strange to think of, considering there is about... Well, the people I think she tolerates the presence of, I can count on one hand. I mean, it does not matter if you like your betrothed. It just matters what gains for the family. For some of us. That is true. That is true. It's all right. You're the youngest in the family. True, but by that logic... That is well, the best opportunity for a political marriage. Lose nothing, but gain everything. True, but 
you're also the weakest candidate because I was like, Nova House's ch- offspring that would be born of you would be last in line for a throne in any potential way. Not that there was not offers. You are quite the desirable oh. bachelor. Trust me, though, when Father snuck up to the surface, he did tell me of uh, all of the offers being presented to me. Matt. Well, in some ways, I'm... I'm happy that minefield was dodged. She Matt seems to make you happy. And... She does. She makes me very happy. And my... I doubt I would have gotten it this far without her. It is my belief of marriage on the surface that most people do it for the sake of happiness and among the common folk. It's very, um, a new age of you, I suppose. Very, yeah. <laughs> I suppose. Perhaps the surface in some ways has rubbed off on me. Perhaps, but if you are doing a selfless enough task as res- resurrecting our god, I think you are allowed one selfish moment. <laughs> you chose it well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, she is. No. She has come to me and had a lot to me. And I sincerely hope that she finds a place within this family. I, I assume. I cannot guarantee, but I assume she will. Father has taken a shine to her. Mother he has, speaks and... quite highly of her. That is good. That is good. She has met most of you now, I think. Just Val left. Shall Which will be an soon. interesting conversation, I'm sure, between the two of them. I'm sure they will meet soon. But I should leave you. You should. It is getting sister. late and I have preparations to get attend to. Of course. We shall see but you soon, is... brother. You will. It's good to be back, though. It's good to see you again. Kelsey doesn't stand up. Imagine it's other people still still out of the room. Yeah. How will move her just to give her a hug? She stands up. She whispers in your ear. She goes, "Wish you luck tonight, brother." I'm so concerned. <laughs> okay. He kind of pulls back. You look. At you can just. Really taking you in. It's good to have you home. And it still is home. Always will be. You make your way out. The evening comes to a close as the castle begins to quiet down, getting ready for bed. The trances of many will be had, and beds provided for some that do need to sleep in them. The night grows dark as the moss of the roof begins to lull. Calisandria and Zamani, you bed down for the night. Before that, <laughs> Zamani just like gives him like, like I guess like, like they're laying in bed. Zamani just gives him a nice little like pat pat. Good luck. Hmm. Okay, no, 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 no. All right. <laughs> Yeah. What is going on here? Elvin has said the exact same thing. The good luck. You'll need it about tonight. What is yeah. going on, Zamani? Oh. I, I don't think I'm going to sleep. Oh, my dearly beloved. Do you really want to know? I do. Mm. Guess what? What? Too fucking bad. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> I turn on you this this night, my dearest. Don't worry, I'll make up for it later. I suppose I can live with that then. Again, good luck. Did she pass you? She just rolls um, over. <laughs> yeah, I just lies back, just like trying to go to sleep, but then just also just like one eye open, just constantly like every noise that just appears. <laughs> What's your passive perception? Ooh. It used to be good, but then it went downhill. Uh, okay, well, it's still a 19. Mm. 
the nice air still. The cool interior of the citadel. All is hush. You lay there on the cusp of sleep, trying to battle off this moment of traversing to the land of sleepless dreams. Waiting. Constantly going over in your head. Good luck. What the fuck? No. What do they mean? As you don't hear it coming, unfortunately. But in a very quick succession of motions, can you give me a an athletics check? Uh, athletics, Des. Des, athletics. Do you, can, can, I, can I make an arcana check instead? <laughs> no, they I'm good. Thanks. They. They're obviously uh. the same. Okay, 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 Zamani's not been sleeping. She's been, just been pretending to be asleep, so waiting for the moment. Okay, that's a 17, which is minus one, though, so 16. Okay. So, you're not sure when. Zamani, you've been waking, looking for everything. Can you give me an active perception? Yes, I can. Thank you for not using my passive, because that is garbage. <gasps> oh! I didn't even use the baby dice, and I rolled well. Hey! Uh, perception is a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Not enough, but you see the commotion as it happens. As something moved up on the ground to the length of the bed and up on Calisindra's side, there's a quick, just like heavy cloth rag that's put over his mouth and a tussle, a scrape. As you get up, the lights instantly turn on. As you see Taldwin summoning lights and Val has just grappled Callus into the Grand, one arm behind the back, covering his mouth, and she's just got rope, and she's like, <laughs> and okay, comes this in. Is, yes, this is Carlos India. I, 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 you know what? No, I, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm gonna let you continue first. I'm gonna let you continue. I'm gonna okay. let you continue. As she you see Alvanis comes into the room. She's got this very nice, like, just like hair care set. She's just got like scissors and pins. She's all putting it together. She's getting bits. Val is just like tightening as your arms get bound, the cloth over your mouth. She goes, no magic for you, pretty boy. Come on, brain <laughs> boy. As you get hefted up onto his seat, Taldwin is like, I've got the picture. She flips her book and sets it on the mantle of you see just this like, it's it was like your least favorite thing as a child. It's like this super intricate braid. It's tight. It's like woven now, this in. This is cruel. You're bound. You're this gagged. You can't speak. <laughs> you can't do somatic. <laughs> verbal components. I can still use the shot. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you want another or another two tap, that's fine. <laughs> As you see, Avani starts handing out just like these hair hairpins to everyone. Goes all right. Pick a section, Zamani. Follow the instructions. Got it. Oh, let's go, Cindy. No torture. As much as the Inquisition could permit on someone, it is painful. Just as a child, they never did relent for pulling your hair as it is tightly woven and braided with beautiful fauna from the world below. These like leaves and like this like beautiful stalk of mushroom is into the top. It's just like two and a half hours of braiding and you're just sitting there daggers in your eyes. Cal does get just... occasional like cheek kisses. Yeah. The others get daggers in their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> After fears, it's a beautiful, intricate braid. As Ivanis kind of stands up straight. Girls. As Taldwin pulls away. And Val just takes the cloth off your mouth. She goes, well, braid boy, you're home. <laughs> Feels like home. <laughs> Looks Thank like you home. all so much for this. I'm glad to see your training in the Inquisition taught you for such uh, interrogation methods, Val. There's more. Your skills haven't dropped. Father, bring the painter. Oh, oh no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You wanted pointers on how not to point, how not to pose as a stiff as a board, right? Right. The perfect time. Uh. How Misty steps away. Hey, uh, Taldwin's got a counter spell. God damn it. <laughs> Your father comes in, there's like a big easel set up. <laughs> You're in on this as well. 
I see, I see. Is, is Mother going to walk through those doors next? And No, but if she finds out, happening? this happens again. <laughs> sure. So do you want pointers, or do you want to stand stuff as a board again? I can do what you want, I don't care at this point. Leave him in the Aww. chair. As you see, lining up Elvanus, Val, and Tal, <sighs> stand, and they go. Everyone just stand by Callus and they just mock it. They just take a stiff stance. And stare right, directly. In, in that case, in that case, I'm going to do something completely different. <laughs> it's just about to get sick as what you're tied to a chair. Exactly, <laughs> that is different. Yes, it is. That's fair. <laughs> and I'm going to have a smile on my face the whole time. Uh, like your cousin via painting. You know what else would be pretty fun? Makeup. As Elvana speaks up. I mean, we could do that, but I was also thinking just like a big red lipstick kiss mark, just right on his cheek or his forehead. You know what? At this stage, honestly, so just, just do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like somebody like pulls out two lipsticks. So would you rather the forehead or the cheek? It's your painting, after all. Oh, let's have a look. Mm. I'm just imagining it. Let's, let's 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 go for the forehead. Let's go for the forehead. I wasn't asking you, sweetheart. I think we'll go for the forehead. Sounds good. As you see, Zamani pulls out lipsticks and each sister is like looking and grabs one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Zamani's just thinking in her head, rich people, they'll replace it. Now, <laughs> Cindy, the next, next three hours, your father is just like, Sitting behind the guy painting his now a little bit more, um, a bit more dour. Was, uh, it's a beautiful painting. The court painters are very well. Chaos India feels like home. I know yeah. that, the, that there's still, you know, much to be done with the painting, but for those of us who do need actual sleep and not just trancing, it's, it's, is my participation checked off now? May, may I sleep? Oh, no, by all means, um... No, that's fine. Talwin just looks at you very intently, like studying you, and opens her book, does a quick little cast. And there's just an illusion Zamani beside the wall, standing. Oh, thank you. That means very much to me. Also, it was also lovely to meet you. She says, uh, Lucky to Val. <laughs> She's just like checking the knot on the chair. She goes, Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> what was your name? Zamani. Yes, I am Valensa. Pleasure. Princess nice Valensa. Nice to meet you, Valensa. So I'm just gonna go go to bed. Ah. Cal's just thinking about doing stuff like I'm. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to do something. I need to get them back somehow. Well, while she is in there, since everybody's like dis distracted and being rowdy and having fun, um, she is going to to actually like because all's still with him. It's just like a little little around the finger. She's just gonna be like, if you ever if you get in contact. With the Lord of Decay, I would like to get to speak to him. Just to see how things are at some point, if that's okay. And she just gives him like a little boop on the And he looks up to you. And he just, Aww. from the tail, burns around your finger and disappears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I comes to. So it's been two hours of torment. Yeah. You yeah. roll me a con save at the end of it to see if you get exhaustion. Yeah. Uh, that's I'm a natural 20. Zilly nice. would have had an amazing time with this, so I hope that she mm -hmm. got to come and play. She she comes towards the end of the painting to kind of see it, and she's just like, "Do this." <laughs> <laughs> but oh, well, this is even better now. It is a night of mockery and ruckazing that mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you missed. It makes you feel was, like you're twenty it, years it old again. Feel, I was going to say it makes it makes the uh, stress, the pain, the torment of the last few years fade away slightly. Only to be replaced by torment and stress and nightmares uh, when he falls asleep. <laughs> but the next he's morning a, comes too. Yeah, he sees Amai just sleeping totally soundly. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, look, he's 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 happy that she enjoyed it. <laughs> but the night comes too. The sleep comes to everyone. Eventually, in the early hours of the morning, as things start to get brighter, both. Talval and Ilvanus and your father all leave the room just like chuckling looking at the painters like he's carrying this canvas and they're like we need copies again. 
So where is this being put? Is this being put up in the main hall? Or are we talking dining area? Where, where, where Valentine just where turns talking? around and she goes, Baby brother, this is my wedding gift to you. This is for your keep. <laughs> this is oh, <laughs> thank you. That is the most generous wedding <laughs> gift possible. Thank you so much. You're welcome, brave you know, boy. Wedding gifts are joint. You can't get rid of it. I do love you. <laughs> they walk right. out. Cal, do you take it, take the braid out, or do you just leave it? I he, he, he leaves it for a little bit. Have you ever had? Okay, I just want to make sure. I don't. Have you guys ever actually had your hair braid like very tightly, and when you undo it, it just got like the wiggly, like the super wiggles? Yeah. And all of these braids are different sizes and intricacies. So he's just got gonna have a head full of like different like w- like frequency of wiggly hair. Yes. That's gonna be amazing. But the following morning comes too. What would you like to do? You have maybe a day or two before the dinner. Um Cal would like to, and you'd say this is money. She wants to come. That's that's definitely up to her. But Cal would like to see the high priestess. Oh, I'd love to come. Perfect. I'm Maybe sure she she'd be delighted. People, right? She does, and by all means, she's quite the uh, supporter of mine. Yeah, so I feel like a visit would be the right move. I'm sure she probably wants to get a chance to talk to as many of the people who have actually gotten to speak to your god as. Not a shattered mongoose mess as possible. Absolutely. And it's also making a little bit of a statement that I'm going to speak to everyone but the Inquisition before them. Oh, was that a statement they were looking to make on purpose or? No, oh, it's one I'm looking to make. No, because you kind of told me, hey, you shouldn't go here at all. So I wasn't sure if it's antagonizing good. people's good idea. No, no. I mean, you shouldn't go there, but they've requested me alone. No, oh, that's um... fun. Don't get locked up forever, okay? Oh, I'm not going. At all? More than likely not, unless they... Well, unless Mother says that I should, and it is not something I'm willing to risk at this stage. That's fair. Maybe after the dinner. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, yes, the lovely dinner. I assume, like, they're they're now talking and walking, or in the carriage, or whatever. Um, The lovely dinner (sighs) where all of the, the older ladies are going to absolutely spite me for the horrible act I have done of robbing their Mm -hmm. daughters of a marriage candidate. I know, you stole all of those potential matches. How could you, Zamani? How could you steal my heart like that? Awful. Awful. Travesty. No, I think that there will be quite a few people that are fond of you as well. I mean, there's going to be at least, what, a gaggle of... (laughs) Thalcalzeers, sorry. A gaggle of Thalcalzeers. I think my auntie will also like you, my dad's sister. Oh, there's more. Got it. Oh, of course, there's his whole family as well. The Tarandins. As you make your way, Lake Erebus Cathedral is a beauty to behold. Reflecting in the waters below, this large, imposing structure. The thrum of prayer gets clear as day, even before you get there. And as you get to the gates, there is. Some Inquisitors, the more domestic protection ones around. As they see Kalasindir, they they nod as the royal carriage kind of brought to a halt. The doors of the cathedral are already open. As you step out, almost like there's keen sight. piercing down the pews and the the aisle. Lady Aniatha is an older starless woman, close to close to six hundred at this stage. Okay. She's her white hair, more grey, her skin showing some slight crow's feet, some slight wrinkles here and there, which is you know Aging in elves is very graceful and difficult to see, but a keen eye would tell you she's quite old. Her frame is quite frail at the stage. She has very simple, monochromatic, 
black and white mm-hmm. robes of the dying god. Almost, you see the high priestess dressed in almost like mourning attire for the dying god, as is befitting. Um, mm-hmm. as she just makes her way down to the doors of the cathedral and kneels on the ground before Callus and Deer. Please. You don't need to kneel for me. It is an honor to meet you. Yeah. Meet you as I am now. It's done. Meet you born anew. Prince Callus and Precisely. Deer. It's good to see you at the cathedral. What's what's her name again, Des? Can you just remember? My priestess, Anayatha. Anayatha, that's it. Anayatha. Anayatha, thank you for having me here. It I have nothing but respect for the great work that you have done for our people. The voice of the dying god. It is an honor to meet you, High Priestess Anayatha. And Zamani will do like her best rendition that she can possibly do of a curtsy that is a befitting of the starless peoples and like mm-hmm. their kind of like style because i assume they have their own specific one lady zamani i have seen you travel beside the prince it is a pleasure to see you in the flag thank you please he walks in as there is just like the pews are just like filled with people. Mm-hmm. She just turns and goes, I do apologize for cutting a sermon short, but when a prophet does come to the cathedral, it does require my attention. I will be ending Please. early today, but I think it's fitting that I am the interpreter of the words of the dying God. But we have the prophet to finish our sermon for us. See? at the altar and clears her stuff off of it. I seem to please if you would say some words to our faithful. Um, of course. Also, just quickly aside, Des, what the fuck? Come on, come on! You can't just... <laughs> no, no warning. Take a moment. Chase stuff up. My people. My kin, my starless, I re- return to you, triumphant, two shards of our Lord, the dying God, in my possession, and many more soon to be returned. Look into my eyes, the stars are returning, we say it, we have said it for generations, but they are returning to us. I promise to all of you that I shall see to his return, so that we will all witness the stars return. Thank you for your continued devotion. Thank you for your continued service to all of our people. When the stars do return, it will be a victory for all of us. I'll send a step away. Just erupts in applause from the High Priestess Aniathe takes to the altar we will have an evening service as per usual but until then i ask all of you to find time to celebrate such a joyous occasion to hear the words the dying god's prophet high priestess if you would i would very much like to receive your blessing last i'm here i was intended to bless the union of you both so this is good timing and good tidings. Wonderful. See, I have Mate. wanted to return here for a while now, since I found the shards. There is a, a distinct lack of places of worship to the dying god on the surface. Yes, I imagine there is few, if none, temples that <laughs> are not ruined. That is sadly the case. I should like to, hopefully in time, see to some up there being built, but I fear that may be a little in the, in the works. I mean, well, if I could have both of you just stand over here. 
boss. She brings you both, and she, once the area is fully cleared out, she, <clears throat> it is with an honor. I do not bless this union in the name of the dying god. As she reaches to a few small crystals, as she shifts them on the altar, you see they start to rotate, and little clicks are heard throughout the premise as you see the roof opens a little bit and you're not sure what way if it's refraction of light but peering to the surface light starts bouncing and fills the chamber where both you stand bless this union in the name of the guiding light may the light embrace you and bring you forward as a hand stretched out from a horizon you too shall rise like the sun and bring warmth, glory, and life to our nation. She moves the discs again, and you hear things click, click, and the little bounce of light that comes from the surface into Lake Erebus Cathedral disappears. Does Cal know from his experience there's like an expected response that he's meant to give to this? Uh, not for the, you know, like, expected response for the dying god, but he's blessed you in the name of the guiding light, not the <laughs> dying god. I appreciate the true blessing being given do not think thank it you wise to hide it from the prophet i assume you already <laughs> knew of course of course i found this in the ruins well star Evan ruins on the surface as calcindu will i would say that he would have had the guiding lights in but just like a, a, a bit more out of the way um and he would have pulled it out I found this on the surface in one of the ruins up there. May I see it? Of course. Take it off. Hand it over. She takes, she pulls out the small little, like, you know, like it starts looking at it intently. So this does come from before the shattering. You are truly lucky to have it. I am. It is a blessing. What news do you have of our... of our god? Uh, that is... That is where I suppose I had hoped to ask mm -hmm. you a question. Jen? Um... So Zamani kind of like, like her little journal, like it's also full of like sketches and drawings as well. <laughs> um, so she probably would have, if like, I don't remember 100%, but like we, we saw what he looked like as like mm. an elvish form, right? <laughs> because she, then she would have have like a drawn version of that as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, then she's going to actually go to her journal to the page where she, she had had that and she's going to like pass it over and be like I don't know how things work as being the voice of, of the god but when he came to us with sound mind this was his appearance it is just as beautiful as the paintings Indeed. I can show you something if you would so like of course to. and she looks above the altar and she reads the inscription along the back of it. You see the mural of uh, seven shards divided fades away, and you see a beautiful rendition of many figures like the Guiding Light, among maybe five or six others. Yes. Amongst his brothers, he's shown the brightest. You didn't recognize Aurelius on it as well. Yeah. Okay. I've met that one there as well. His brother. The Dawn Watcher. Aurelius. Okay. The Dawn Watcher. Wait. We've also met the Eye of Ruin as well, right? His nephew. His nephew. Oh, no, not no. brothers. Got it. His My nephew. <laughs> Complicated yes. family part. Complicated know. family. I've met, um, yes, yeah, sir. The Dawn Watcher showed himself. I had quite the uh, enlightening conversation with him. 
He has a bit of worship on the surface, believe it or not. As a uh, church to him, in the village of Lavoka. And I don't know if you saw this much, but I did meet with the Guardian Light's nephew, the Eye of Ruin. Well, okay. And the true form, well, that is... I think it's indescribable. And it's beauty. So I'll crack myself. You see one, two. One second. One, two. Four brothers, one sister. Mm -hmm. Do we know of all of these gods or are some of them like You only recognize the the dog picture? Can you point like, out and... we we know of the Pantheon, like just as someone who's like been yeah. on the surface, right? Oh yeah, you know you okay. you wouldn't know of the pantheon of the old gods. That's not common knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know that I looked up. I managed to find out some information on them in Aris, in the archives of Arasandra, mm. but I don't think I had like a full family tree or anything. No. Um, if you don't mind, I mean, can you tell me who the others are? It's not common knowledge on the surface either. They are. The originals, I suppose, one might say. There is, well, the original family of the Guiding Light. They are, from our knowledge, some good, some not so good. His only sister, the bloody dame, Known to be goddess of corruption and mother of many evil gods. Betrothed the Dawn Watcher's son. And caused a lot of the war of the gods, we believe. There is the Arbitrator. God of Ballads. Judge. He, he was meant to judge the souls of the dying and the damned. And decide which deity they served and would go to in the afterlife. Although we know from the war of the gods on the other realm that there is a that much to know. Unfortunately, I apologize. Other no, than that, we know the the other brother, the hangman. The executioner Sentence the wicked to their damned fate to suffer in the eternal hells or abyss. He is the one that would strike down the foes of the gods. And lastly, the spirit of elements, fire, water, air, no. It is debated whether he is truly amongst us or if he has made up the elemental planes to protect us. It you speak of... I'm sorry, please continue. These original, brought into a being, brought into existence by a being, only worshipped by the Yotans, being known as and only to us in their text as the Divine Observer. Divine Observer. Which is connected with our new dragon friend. No, you've never heard any of the, the Divine Observer, I don't believe. The Divine... Okay. Or maybe you did for the Century Great Worms? I think maybe you might have. I It's familiar to me, but I wasn't sure if it was in-game or out-of-game. It's what familiar asking. to me, but out-of-game. I don't know if Samani got... I'm, trying to... I'm not sure. It's think, also familiar um, to me, but again, I don't know if it was in character. No, I don't not. believe it's in character. Yeah. I don't I don't really mention the Divine Observer in character much, if ever. Okay. Cool. Um, we spoke of the elemental planes in order to protect us. This wouldn't be... This would be have to do more with information connected to... Um, how private is this right here? 
<laughs> Very, I will not be showing this mural if not for it. <laughs> Thank you. I just, sorry. Have you heard I'm... of the Horned Serpent? Yes, I have. I've heard of... You see the, the guiding light and his brothers were brought into existence for a purpose. Much like everything else. They were warriors. They were always warriors. They are the ones that... I suppose I should go a little further back. We have to look to Jotuns, unfortunately, here. As they worship things when there were 13 realms of existence. At the start of their knowledge, there was two beings, two deities only. There was the Divine Observer, a being of utmost creation. And there was the Void Dragon, a being of utmost destruction. The Void Dragon did many terrors, and so 13 realms became nine. It's when our god's planet was consumed. Planet of immeasurable power. So the Divine Observer imbued them with as much of his creative power as he could. And they were tasked to kill the Void Dragon. To stop the destruction of the cosmos. And they could not. A task too big to destroy a being of pure destruction. So it was all they could do to separate it. To three parts the matron of the woods, the jeweled wings, and the horned serpent. The Dawn Watcher fell in love with the matron and they bore many children. And they chose to settle on Prentice. They decided to make a new home. So the war with the Yottons began, and then came their children. And then came the War of the Gods. Over here, the Dawn Watcher tried, not the Dawn Watcher, the Guiding Light tried to come over and continue the effort on this side. To the dismay of the Dawn Watcher and the siblings. And lost. For now. Thank you. May I? I'm sorry. No, of course, money. I don't know. Obviously, religion is something very unifying and very powerful in Starless society, and I don't know quite the politics of how everything is run just yet. But I assume being as well versed in knowledge as you are and just everything about you so far that you stand against the horn serpent's very existence along with your gods it is open to interpretation as you say it is not as simple as being opposed to one being I do not know what the Horned Serpent is doing. My knowledge is limited. Most of this knowledge I learned was from previous High Priestesses and when the Far Walker and the Eye of Ruin came over to this side of existence, we sent Starless to find out what happened. So it is with that I have this knowledge. Of the War of the Gods as well. And we sent agents to the Yottons to steal information or fight for information at times. It is a mishmash that I've put together. I do not know much of the Horde Serpent's current state. I know he sided with the Eye of Ruin during the War of the Gods. That is as far as my knowledge goes. I do not know where the Guiding Light would have sided. 
if he would have sided with his sister and her children, or if he would have sided with his brother. I see. What do you think of the surface? When we came here, child, we originally settled the surface when we fought the Yottons. I think the surface has many great dangers, and I think humanity as a whole still faces dangers of the Yottons until we can have true divinity fight back against them. We have the Far Walker and the Eye of Ruin. Should the Guiding Light return when he will, and I know he will, he shall lead them. And we shall strike the Ottens from records. And then the surface will be safe. And in which case the stars return. And so do we take the surface. You're muted. You're saying something great, but you're muted. I'm not muted. Oh. I'm just... This is Cal just taking a moment. <laughs> Me and Rafa have been he, messaging he, he each looks, other. We're like, do we Zimani. tell her? What, on, on that, what, what does Imani look like at the moment? Does she seem to be conflicted? She feels like she doesn't have enough information, but she wants to trust her. But the whole we take the surface thing just now has her going, hmm, that's a little bit of a concern, given how militaristic Starla society is as a general whole. What if I told you that perhaps there was a greater threat? Coming. I would ask for more information. Cal just looks over to Zamani and just returns back. We have learnt through various means, various sources. The Horn Serpent returned on the other side of the world and has absorbed the jeweled wings. So is it two-thirds of the Void Dragon become one? He has launched and completed his conquest of the other side of the world. He's eradicating he in Ormabel. For our Star Elven connection, he is hunting down the other gods. And once he knows how to come here, he will. That is his plan. Part of the motivational factor for my proposed plan to begin to mend the wounds between Pressian and Starless is the necessity of all to stand against him. To all He'll stand be here. together. Elves will be hunted. The road will be burnt. Old gods will be hunted. Yotans will also be hunted. He means to start his new order. And if he finds the last third of the Void Dragon, then I don't know what else we can do. That is why I do act with a degree of haste now. Makes sense. Renewed haste, one should say. <laughs> you are clearly the guiding light's plan for this, though, are you not? Do you not see it? He sees the danger. He knows he must come back swiftly. And so you were born to us. Child born amidst stars and turmoil. But fire and faith brought to us to unify our people, perhaps. Perhaps. Time will tell. I guess by telling you, we were hoping that if in any way you're able to promote or aid in smoothing over of the unification or at least more acceptance of others, the surface, the prescient, Not if you'd be willing to help. Where my words would stand on that. I'm a high priest of the guiding light. The present care little for our religious values. 
They do, but... When the dying god, the guiding light, returns to us, the stars will return to them as well. All elves will be faced with the same moment, regardless of where we have found ourselves. I mean... There is a time for unity with his blessing. I fear and... not for this horn serpent turned dragon king, as you say. I place my faith in the guiding light. You have met the Dawn Watcher. So thirteen realms became nine. Never again should such turmoil come to pass. They have known how to split the Void Dragon apart in his full. They can do so again. I think we will see a new age of blessing upon us. The Guiding Light will return, and what his will will be word. I ask dragon. of you to keep our people strong. Keep them united. I shall Whatever. always preach the words of the, the dying gods to our people. And I know that you will do that, at the very least. You are not bound by... As requested as it may be, you are not bound by what the Inquisition wishes you to say. You speak for him, and for him alone. I say what he shows me, and tells me. I preach of your exploits on the surface to find the shards. I feel when you grow close to them. I feel his power come back and his words come to me clear. You are his vision. So let me be his voice down here. I would not take that away from you. Never. Nor could you. As I said. As you have I may done. not need a cathedral. <laughs> I may be in an alley. Disheveled and disgraced. I shall always preach the words of the guiding light. My final breath and words would always be of our faith. Is that a concern? The Inquisition has oft sent failed threats to my preaching. Hmm. It does. Am, am I wrong? I was under the assumption this was kind of like, like. I don't want to say like a Vatican kind of a thing, but like a three part like split of like the power of society. Yeah, it goes Cathedral Inquisition crying. OK, because she seems to be like super downplaying her amount of influence and power a lot. Oh, yeah. But Cathedral's <laughs> power does not always mean her power because they can always get another high priestess. If she were to die, they would just the put weakest. another one there. Yeah. And of the three pillars of power, the cathedral has no might, I suppose you would say. They are not like... Well, it has the will of the people. Yes, the common folk, but... A veiled threat or an assassination. I am old. So, I'm towards the end of my days. So not kind of a Pope situation. Got it. No, there will be... And there is other many priestesses. And there's probably someone she, Annie Atha, is training to be High Priestess upon her death. Well, there's very, like, political influence, not so much, but definitely has the, 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 the backing of the common folk severely, because it's so ingrained in the culture. 
I guess that's mm -hmm. kind of the, the thing that like Zamani was asking. We're like, you know, you know how like I don't know. Maybe this is just like an American Southern thing. Like you have all of the different churches, and they all have their favorite parts of the Bible that they talk about in order to promote certain ideas yeah. and messages like when when zamani was asking she was saying like hey are there any certain message things that promote the unity of like not just starless but like hey that's welcoming oh i was not outsiders that. um, that's what like zamani was meaning like to use her position and like her I power with have... influence with the people to try to promote those ideas among them to make them more accepting when the time Hey, Jura GM raiding with a party at 25 during a Ooh. good political deep oh, lore roleplay. Oh, What's up? How did, what are you guys doing? What? 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 Jura GM, D &D, D &D that doesn't surprise me. We have we're a big D and D yep. community, just a bunch of nerds. Um, D and D's nuts. D and D's nuts. Yes, yeah, Jen. Look, Jen said it the best. Um, uh, how did your session go? How did your prep go? How did yeah. your play go? What were you doing? Let us know. Mm. What was going on? We're today? talking with a high priestess of old god who got shattered to all heck and back. Boom yep. and Monsters and Mayhem join in as well. Nice. Ooh, nice. 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 Happy to have you all here. Well, Thanks for sharing your lovely little community with us. Yeah, so, absolutely. We'll be live for another little bit, so I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Um, so we're in, we're underground in a city that is also a country that is Cal's people because they're starless elves and they worship a guy called the Dying God. And Cal is kind of putting him back together Lego style. <laughs> And we're talking to the priestess, who is kind of like the voice of the dying god to the people. And we know that there's a bigger, badder, super awful dragon on the other side of the world who wants to come over and just basically decimate everything. So we're trying to get her to use her position of power to promote unity, not just within like the starless people, but for outsiders as well, because they've been really cut off for a long time. And really the only way that we have any hope of standing against this dragon in the future is unity and working together. So we're kind of navigating that kind of conversation now. Yes. Thank you for the good recap there, Jen. Um, the sigh of the dying gods. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so my character and Kyle's character are getting married and she's now a princess all of a sudden. She grew up on the street and she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing and she's mm -hmm. trying her best. Yeah. As a certain Nate would say, princess yeah. street round. Thank you, thank Mania, you. you. You are new to us. And I know perhaps, and I say this with the grace and kindness I can, the political side of our country is veiled and stubborn to move, but you'll find the common folk. We were brought to this realm as one. We are brought to the surface together as one. We will return to being one. One nation united under the guiding light. The back of Zabani's head. Big concern about the diversity of the world on, on the surface. <laughs> but, but it wasn't just brought over star elves. It was also brought over like all humans, Stephen's, all the races of man were brought over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the whole like united under the guiding light. Yeah, yeah look, that's a, that's here, a like, concern, but that's a, that's their yeah. belief. Concern. She, no, she's hiding that. She's pushing that. That's deep, crusade deep time. Now. Smells like yeah. crusade weather, boys. <laughs> <laughs> one problem after another let's handle one problem look the like the putting see, the god in... back together see i find it, i think it's interesting because cal would argue it's like no i don't think that's the guiding lights wishes at all i've spoken to him he doesn't seem to want to take that path so i think you're wrong um so it's gonna be very interesting <gasps> it's gonna be very interesting wait what if the guiding light is just like what are you talking about these are my children what yeah. why do you disgrace their names in such a way Heroes. That That's would be really cool. <laughs> I look. It's gonna be. A, it's a moment that I'm very much looking forward to. I'm just saying um, that would be kind of. Yeah. Just little, yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> a little spicy. We will be one people, just like the Azari are welcomed into Asian Haris and the, so will the world. Be united and should this dragon king come to pass we shall be ready we welcome all we will help these gods are sealed as we know who better to release them than their brother the guiding light will return and 
bring back his brothers. And it is of our knowledge, based on the Guiding Lights theory, that the matron is safe in his belief, wherever she was. All right. Well, that is a relief to know. And I have no doubt that should he return, then you'll continue to strengthen the resolve of all of us here. Wherever you may be, cathedral or side alley. My prince, you, I did. you bless me. I hope, I hope you are right. I do not know if I will be alive. Calcindor would just like take take her hands. I priestess. I know, and I pray with all my heart that you will be there to see his return. I did have another uh, much smaller matter to speak with you, and <laughs> quite trivial in the uh, scheme of things, but. I was looking to set up a church on the surface. I was wondering if there was any, well, any of your prodigies here that uh, would have an interest in such a far-flung mission. I believe there would be some. I believe there could be Perhaps what is best for you, for both political and religious reasons, is to approach House Tarabamil and ask for one of their daughters, lesser daughters, there's a few training here, to right. be a part of that. Have one of the great houses take the surface with you. Duly noted. I shall bring that I up with them when I see them. Completely oblivious to how the surface would respond, but I am even less oblivious to the intricacies of the great houses. And perhaps by marrying an Azaria, you would do well to try and make friends with the great houses. Of course, that is what I am hoping to achieve. At least as many of them as I can. I doubt I'd be able to please all of them. But hopefully more than enough. I hope I can live to the day to be the one to marry you both. Under the guiding light, not the dying god. Not the dying god. But the beauty of the stars within your eyes will at least have been enough in case I do not make it to that. Then I shall pray that you are alive to see that. Bless you, my dear. Bless you, Zamani. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. There's a lot of dust. That's fair enough. <laughs> the, the whole ceiling did just open up. It was very impressive. Mm. Little dust. It's a little dust. <laughs> we do not tell very often to clean. No, that's... But I would like nothing more, than, to be honest. It would be a beautiful wedding. I've married generations of Falcas here. It would be nice to do another. I, I've gotten a very brief introduction of what the Falcas here wedding ceremonies are like, and it seems overwhelming. Elaborate. <laughs> Elaborate is a good word. It's perhaps a shy bit more complex than the mechanism that allows us to get light from the surface. <laughs> Well, they're yes. one of the most complicated things here. <laughs> Thank I mean, you for your time. You probably are very busy. I am never too busy for the profit. Yeah. I hope you don't mind then if I pay other visits. Please, the next time I come, do not stop your sermon on my behalf. I should very much like to be there for it. I have missed it. I appreciate it. I think the common folk would far more hear your words than mine repeated again. 
We'll see about that. There is a certain comfort in your words. For the longest time, I was considered anointed in the oils to be able to hear the voice of divinity. In my life, I have had two others. You remind me a lot of your uncle. I am glad you are not falling into the same mistakes that you made. I met him briefly. He seemed like a, a great man. But I am glad that I have not fallen as he has. To which I owe a great deal to Zamani here for that. Just a lot of nagging and threats, you know. <laughs> it is more than that. I'm told you will play an important part for the prince. And I'm told you will all do great things. I'll certainly try my best. She kind of just stares for a second. Callison, you're just the same devotion you saw the people up the street. She just. Stars truly return. They do. And they will return in full to us all. You all have to forgive me. I grow tired with age. Of course. Please. We have taken up much of your time. Please, I shouldn't want us, to keep you from your duties much longer. Take as much as you so wish, whenever you so wish, but... Small fragments. <laughs> Short visits. Mm -hmm. The turn to the altar. And she... Packs a small little box of incenses and oils. And hands them to Zamani. They do not come from riches. This is nothing fanciful. But it is a collection of my favorite incenses from the world below. Good I luck for your wedding day. Thank you. I, I do not come from riches either. This is sentimental and meaningful to you, and thus it is to me. As for you, Paris India, Prince of our people, the High Priest or Priestess of the Ravath Cathedral has always carried with them something of great importance. Never seen it fit to give it to someone. Anyone, I say, more than you, because I am told you will do this. You will do it well. If you would have a seat. Of course. Sit down honor. beside you. I could have your hands. Hold them out. She takes it and she looks at you and this very, very beautiful kind of etherealness to her. It is always said that those of his blessing feel the heartbeat of the city. And the heart is always in the cathedral. We are rooted here in faith and belief. The Inquisition has looked long and hard. But no one has looked better than you. And we have had never more faith than you. As you see, Zamani, you've noticed this before, Cassandra. Stars start drifting off of her. 
as she's slowly fading. Gals in dear. She looks at you and she goes, This is the blessing for your wedding. She <laughs> starts. And Gals in dear, you recognize there is a shard. The root of Starless Culture. It, I, knew it, I, knew it, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I said, I said to you, Des, I said to you, it was in the world below. I always said the world below. I always said it was in the motherfucking world below. <laughs> You've led me astray with that. I've told you so many fucking debated ideas where it can be. You have debated me so much. Literally two nights ago we were discussing this and... Sorry. That was, was passed Zemani's from high to priestess her... to high priestess. Zemani's gonna put her hand on, on Cal's shoulder for a second before he like yoinks it. Cal's just frozen there. I'm gonna make you an offer. As there's, by the way, deep red just kind of glowing and rotating. I think I know what you are for Samani and I have. I know, I know. Just, I'm just asking you before you talk, just let me say this one thing. Of course. I know how important this is to you. I know. And I know that you want to do it on your own and I want know that you want to be the sole person with this to take on this mission, to take on this burden. But look at what one shard did to the Ascended Gods. And you already have two. It's already been a lot. And I simply want to offer to be a temporary placeholder. Until we get more of them together. And then all at once. Because I don't, I don't want to lose you before we get there. Zamani, how would just take up Zamani's hands? Like I said, I have been doing a lot of thinking on this matter. There was a time, actually, a little while back, that I thought that. I was certain that I was about to die from this. I suppose that was a realization of sorts. I intend to let Trannon carry the one that he continues. To use it if he needs to. But to keep a hold of it until I can take it. Xerxes has one that he will hold on to. We know that Everett, during his trials, that there will most likely be another one that will be there. And one more. I cannot take all of them. And that is why I say that I will take this one here out of respect for her giving it to me and respect for this but the next one that we come across so long as you so long as you still hold to that statement I will let you hold it Samani I promise you that. And as insane as I am he grow to be, remind me. I will take three shards and no more. Okay. Please be careful. I was going to say I always am, but then I realized that is... <laughs> you are not. You are mostly not careful. You are mostly, I am mostly rash not and as mm -hmm. smart as you are, you're a fool. I am, aren't I? Yes. Well, it's a good thing I have you <laughs> with me to remind me of that. Well, you should start listening more instead of waiting until after. Well... Perhaps I will now. 
so. Perhaps you should. <laughs> I'll send your DM no, chat to the shard. I do. It's, it. You reach your hand out and it sends ripples up your arm. You feel another one click into place. Lamani, you look and Callus and dear, ten new red stars appear in his eyes. I just slap cool. his arm. What's your star total now? Uh, okay, so I have ten red, ten green, and sixty normal. Six D or sixteen? Sixty. So that was like... So can you give me total all together? Because that's oh, total all up. Eighty. To be fair, though, most of those came from the Marrick. Actually, the green ones, I didn't have a choice. I just got Doesn't them. The red ones, I didn't have a choice. Just got you, them. You talk like that matters to Zamani. Like, that, that it doesn't. <laughs> There's an 80 total. Yes, 80 You total. hit a new threshold, bitch. I'm just... I don't know if he has. I just have to check. I think it's 90. What were you on the whole star off thing reduced it. I was on... So, I had... Before this, I was on 70. What was the last thing I gave you? I can't remember. It's Actually, no, this wild. is an easy one for me. Can you tell me how many D8 your psionic resonance does? Uh, it hasn't been upgraded yet, I'll tell you that much. It um, hasn't been? Just tell me what it does then. How, how many D8? Okay, let me just take my hand out. Uh, psionic resonance does 10 D8. Okay. 75 shards is your next threshold. Was your next threshold. So you hit it. Right. A new major madness is going to develop. But not minor madness. Actually, sorry, I correct myself. This is the first major madness. Oh. You be lucky you're on the other side of the world, bitch. This is the first major madness. But your psionic resonance now does 20 D8 damage. Not that you're gonna get to use it. Bonuses! Bonuses. <laughs> Bonuses that, that you can't fucking an use. Extra Congratulations. Damage. An extra 10d8 damage. Isn't that Does great? Does it fucking so matter? Isn't and that great? And slowly over the next no, couple of days, no, I'll let you start seeing what your major madness will be. I'm curious. Didn't the star elf thing reduce the threshold for some of them? Yeah, so it reduced the threshold for some of them overall. Right, which, okay. Yeah. That yeah. is counting the reduced. Okay, that is counting the reduced. <laughs> I Chris sense Vitti, you tension. bet there's some fucking tension. This entire Mr. Gris hit the Vitti. <laughs> has literally Mr. been Zamani saying, the Gris don't hit the use Gritty the Vitti. fucking shards. This stars in your fucking eyes make you go fucking crazy. You know what you can't do if you're fucking crazy? Put a god back together Lego style. Guess who still uses the fucking shards? That one. Nice Guess who can't even share the shards now? That one. Now that he's got them, it's you're stuck in them. This is growing new bones. <laughs> <laughs> when I first described it, that you all made your way to Ijinhar Xandir, I described the heartbeat of the city, of the people. You now feel that with it. Almost like a pulse in the city. You feel the faith all pour towards you every time, like waves. As you now see, the entire cathedral is glowing red, as you've not seen in your lifetime. And now you know why it glows red. The priestess has passed on. And that's where we're going to get a break. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a bit. Um, I, like, I thought he said he's a gluten for madness. So I was like, damn, don't go that's there, Jen. I'm like, damn, hit me hard. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> hit him with that celiac. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's where we're going to get a break. We'll be back in about five minutes. Thank you so much for all the raiders for being here. We'll be back very, very shortly. Stick around if you want to see more madness unfold. And me yelling some more, probably.
Okay, we are back. Short little break there, just because we were so past break time normally is. Um, yeah. But Jen, you said you have a a cracked idea, cracked a Fortnite. Do you want to tell us what it is? Yes. Okay. So, Tal wants to build a church, and we we already know that we don't have the fucking materials for that shit. Yeah. We're in the most magically advanced city that basically exists, as far as we know. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cal is best friends with, according to his dad, the best mage in the entire fucking city. Entire world, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C- city world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These people probably either have a some super cracked ass fucking bag of holding bullshit because. They were they are in a confined space and they have carved out the mountains. They have to have a way to move that stone easily somewhere. Or they've got some cracked ass teleportation magic. And we already know that at least one of those is true. Well, you so should talk they, to a relevant one. That's what I was gonna say. There's the potential of us being able to at least solve the stone problem, and then we just have the wood problem mm-hmm. as far as making stuff. And also I'm sure Cal would be really, really happy and excited to learn p- that potentially he could have buildings made out of the stone from his home in his new home. If oh, you yes. look around Asian Her Alexandria, the buildings <laughs> have no stonework. Not stonework, I have woodwork in them. Mm-hmm. They, mm-hmm. Well, no, there there's a little. They use the the roots of the woad to get that, but it's it's not very functioning wood. Yeah. So most yeah. of it's just like cut marble. Yeah. But as you're in the cathedral glowing, everyone starts flocking towards it. People come in and initially all the apprentices see you and they... There's a look from one in particular. I just need to get her name. Name? Um, name, 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 name. Sorry. Um, I was not expecting this to be thrust upon me this session. Chris, you had to give an impromptu speech, and now you have another shard that you didn't give to Zamani. So, <laughs> there's a woman who I comes up to you. I'm She's still more. quite old. Um, she doesn't look mm-hmm. any sort of noble, noble size, but she, she makes a beeline for you. She kind of, she sees something and she goes, My name is, my name is Devik. I am the next in line. I know what she did. I was training to take it. I will cover that this was a natural asset. It was. You should get out here. Through the back. Thank you. She kind of purrs you off as instantly you see there's like a sermon. She gets to the altars and starts preaching as people start coming in to expect it. Um, you can see that a couple of the other priestesses, they've almost like ready like a faux body that is like being prepared on the altar. It's like, this is a very well kept secret from the cathedral. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. Okay. you are the heartbeat of Vision Alexander. Once they're outside, Cal just take a moment just to like, just steady himself. And just, I imagine just also looking around the city with this new... This new type of you feel connected knowledge to and everyone. vision, but just just taking a moment just to steady himself and just absorb all of this. How does so it feel? How, like, yeah. does it feel like to Cal? It's really for like. Does it feel like damaging or does it no? Feel... It feels like like a, an embrace from the entire city. Like the love of faith that everyone has is channeled towards okay. you. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, and I have actually I have something written up for this, so one second. Um, I knew you probably yeah, asked this. Okay. Um, I can't um, Notes, notes, notes. Yeah, so you feel extremely... Extremely centered. Like in Asian art, like it's always felt like home, but never more. There's almost mm-hmm. like this newfound, like, I have everything I need, a sense of calm. You feel connected to the city. You feel safe. You feel at ease. It is. Your body has never felt more like your own. You 
feel quite content in this moment, like this wave of emotion that's being almost like channeled towards you. There's a bit of you that thinks if the throat chakra was what allowed people to ascend to divinity, if someone had ascended with this, you can almost feel like there's a tether, like you can feel the heartbeat coming to you. It may have been a better shard to ascend with, but that's not your goal. What isn't it? No. Um, <laughs> I feel strange. It, it, the city, I, I mean, I feel it. The city, that is, as strange as it sounds, I feel the heartbeat of thousands, the prayers, the hope of everyone living here. I feel that the very beat of this, of the world below, of all starless here. In a good way, though, but different, new. Are you going it's to always... be able to leave, do you think? Sorry, that was really loud. <laughs> I think it'll be difficult. Perhaps. I don't know, but I'll have to. True. Do you think this is akin to the way that Piney feel? Perhaps. Yeah. Actually, that's that a good it. way of putting it. That makes me realize what the road Perhaps. Um, yes, yeah, it does. It's more you kind of you lean back. And it's almost like pinpointing you. I feel like you can feel prayer. You can't quite hear it as the that's you know that is one of the benefits of the threat chakra. Like the emotions, mm -hmm. the the love for the dying god. And you open up your senses to it. And there's maybe a half dozen threads, perhaps. Heartbeats coming from the surface. You feel some from Porth. Not ports, outposts around the world below that you know we are there, and you feel the heartbeat all coming to Ishanhar Xandir. But whether it's through your own actions or through other means, this affirms to you that there is a few people on the surface that have noticed the dying gods, where it's or perhaps it's present. You don't know, but you feel you something. What, it feels good. I don't know. I feel it. It's, I suppose, now that I think about it, the way that, the, the way that this feels, while we, we know the throat enabled the ascended, well, to be empowered from prayer, this allows me to feel it, to remain tethered to here, to this plane, to this world, to those around me. I feel the prayers, while I do not receive them, I can... I mean, I'm, I'm sensing them from the surface, from far-flung outposts in the world below, all around. It's awe-inspiring. So, while I say that I think it will not be easy going to the surface, I still feel it coming around everywhere. That sounds kind of overwhelming. Is, would that be something that would like wake you up in the middle of the night? Like suddenly you're just getting like a bunch of little messages. You know what? I'm glad you have that to. to... <laughs> I don't know. That's gonna be interesting to try out. It's not it's like, not like, you like I sleep well in. Before. No, no, no. So what's one more interruption? Honestly, and this one is. <laughs> well, it's a bit more of a relief to be honest. True. Much this rather like hear the positive. This is a very positive feeling. It's, if anything, I would much rather be kept awake by this than endless nightmares and torment. That's fair. Speaking of, I say speaking of like I'm going to speak to something about something that's completely on topic, even though I'm not. But right, we're going off topic, yeah. Yes, very much so. I had an idea. All right. You want to build a temple, right? Yes. We don't have materials. No, no. And the only way of getting them is going to be. 
long, laborious, expensive, and potentially mm -hmm. uh, off the books. Yeah, that's that's perfect. This is like the most advanced magic in the world is in the city. I and your so. best friend is like the best mage in the world. Well, he wouldn't admit it, yes. And we are underground, completely surrounded by stone. I see where you're getting to with this. What is it? Des, would Callus and you know how, in general, if there's any special techniques the stylists use in transporting stone or like mass um, quantities of it for building from quarries and stuff like that, if there is magic? Yeah, there's many quarries. A lot of it, like, unless it's a pressing matter, is brought manually because it's just the okay. most yeah. great thing. But for expedited things, there is magics that they use to construct buildings like sometimes if it's something that's needed urgently for fortifications it's mm -hmm. it's constructed it's extremely costly on material component but it can just be done like buildings just carved out of stone and placed and your family's also like the richest people yes and you have access to those funds for the first time in like five years I'll have to bring this up with Mother, but... You muted? Oh. Yeah, sorry, there's a bit of noise in the background. Um, which, I'll have to bring it up with Mother, see what she says on the proposal, but I think that's actually very, <laughs> a very very good solution to a lot of our problems. Yeah. Our cars and beer. Shut up. <laughs> you know I mean, what would solve this? <laughs> You're running short of materials for housing as well. Also, I mean, is it... It's true. I don't remember which family it was, but aren't you like crystal singers or something and you like can like make crystals grow into castles and shit? The crystal singing tradition of how Salcalzia, is that something still practiced as? Um, is not faded? really since you took the throne. It was mostly just like crystals, like being able to work with the extremely fragile but extremely strong yeah. material. Um, I, met, like, I imagine there's like one person in the family that keeps the traditional line. There's like an the offshoot like branch of the family. You actually would believe Taldwin yeah. would practice. It was like, because I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just going to put out there. Number one, you want to set up a church. Number two, it's mm -hmm. going to be something that's not going to be like super readily understood or accepted by a bunch of people. But if a crystal church suddenly pops out of the ground like a daisy, that's going to bring in some attention. S strictly for marketing, you know? For marketing purposes, that is right. For marketing genius. purposes. No, you're definitely onto something there. I'm not saying that you I'm... have to, or that's even possible. No, I, I like it. As with most of your ideas, I think that it's rather genius. You're welcome. But I'm just... I'm just trying to think of the best way of bringing it up. And it's, I will bring it up. Hey, the mm. surface is a land of heretics or something. Let's spread the word of our, oh, our good I think good old dying god. You know how it is. Well, depending <laughs> on who I bring it up with. <laughs> <laughs> Discount that just sure. That's funny. That, that yeah, was, that yeah, was yeah. a good one. Bargain churches. I'm just saying might be worth thinking about, considering that we are literally surrounded by raw materials. That is true. And I suppose as more people make their way to the surface... You need a place to put them. We're precisely. already kind of at capacity, and there are lots of people who want to move in. And I don't really think the Inquisition... Well, they will pose an issue with it, but they hey. can't really pose too much of an issue. Tales of Terror, thank setting. you for resubscribing. No, oh, say it right. You. Say the line, Dave. Uh, no, big gamer. gamer, thank you. There you go. <laughs> you know what? Big gamer, thank you. There you go. Didn't well, understand what we were getting that for a second, but I, I copped on. <laughs> yeah. And hello to you too. Um, I can't remember what I was about to say. No, no, no. But Inquisition. Uh, yes, the gonna... Inquisition. Yeah. yeah, they can't really raise too much of a fuss about using this magic for construction of a church to the dying god on the surface, that is... And if there happens to be, you know, just as much material to make a whole nother 12 to 10 houses oh. or so, 
I if won't it's notice. Irilin that we get supervising this, then I'm sure we can definitely slip in some excess. And I mean, it's not like you guys are short on rocks. I don't know. <laughs> it's looking a bit empty in here. Okay. The moss is cool. Don't know how that would work, but the moss like is it. awesome. Oh, I love I'm it. It's amazing. Like it. Although it's very obnoxious in the morning when they do the big pulse it thing. Is. It is. It's not, Especially, you know, the crystal thing is not exactly like mm. completely permanent. You know, it doesn't really block out the light. I was, yeah, I was thinking, weird. she's one of the few people in the castle that sleeps, so it would only really <laughs> affect her. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, besides the Azaria, we don't really sleep. You know, if I didn't have to, I wouldn't either. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could go back to trancing, but... It is weird you guys can. That. Wait, what? <laughs> I was just gonna say, no one fix that. <laughs> Don't you fucking say it. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. And so you make your way back through the streets, back to the Crystal Citadel. It's easy to slip by unnoticed now, as most people, most everyone, is making their way to the church. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get back, begin to feel tired. It's been a long day with that. Um, but you learned a lot. Is there oh, anyone yeah. you want to speak to? Maybe oh, even Trannon, <laughs> you know? I mean, there's a lot. Of Maybe tell him, hey, to. buddy, you're keeping the shard. Start using it so you don't implode. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people I want to speak to, but I'm just thinking of the Wait, is Trannon here? In. Trannon no. is not. Okay. Yeah, no. you need to. I'm just thinking of the, of the order. The order to do this in. Um, I will probably contact Trannon first. You know, I'll contact Trannon first. Um, One second. When the book, open it up. Just do you need to say something to you guys just about pacing? Oh yeah. Just that's it. Hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just pacing. Yeah, right. Um, <clears throat> Des just sent Not us a, a very interesting, a very interesting uh, message about pacing. Definitely about pacing. Not anything else. Yeah, no, I know that part. <laughs> That's the pacing um, part. But open it up, Trana. I don't know where you've arrived at on your mission of trying to be released from the shard, but I've done a lot of thinking on this matter. And it is in these thoughts that I, I've arrived at the decision that it is probably safer, and perhaps safer for not just yourself, but also for myself, if you were to retain the shard, to use its power to stop yourself from, well, from dying, as much as you feel is necessary, but to hold it until a point arrives where all of them have been collected and placed in safe hands. So as long as you are willing to do this, I would greatly appreciate it. If you're sure about this, I feel perhaps a conversation in person would do us best. All right. I am currently in Asian Alexandria. I do not think that uh, your presence would be welcome here, but I will be returning to the surface relatively shortly. Can As you, you said, travel, or would you prefer it in your area? There is, like, you feel like something has made a far-off tether. As you have the right chakra, you can feel these things innately when something pulses. And you see a crackle of yellow and a burst of stars as a crown appears in your room. It's good to get out. And you see 25 stars in his eyes now. More than the 10 original. Welcome. Welcome. I don't think I can stay here. You are but... perhaps the first present to step foot. That isn't a prisoner. In his and Alexandria. Welcome to the castle. My fucking shoes. Welcome. 
He <laughs> was just like casually laying on the bed, like, oh, hi, we have cats now. Not, yeah, not so he has me. 35 stars in his eyes now. <laughs> How are you feeling? A little electric after finally using it. A lot of stored up energy. I don't know what? quite what I it feels didn't... like to hold that one, but from the way that you're describing it, it does sound rather painful. What's this about me having to keep it? Doesn't want it. I have decided. I have claimed a third one, and that would be the last one that I take myself. Because if not, he's going to go crazy. If you can't, I will take it from you. If you don't want to, I will take it from you. I'll do that to you. I didn't <laughs> sign up for this, I will point out. I'm already going to have one. Which is why Look what happened to I him with two. Presenting. I know. Look what's happened to you with one. Which is why I'll still give you the choice. We can continue to look for a way for you to release it. As of this stage, you hear a lot of footsteps, Cal. As you know, there's yeah. wards against teleportation. And in fact, someone teleported into the fucking Citadel. There is like a small army on their way. You probably need to leave. We can dream tonight. Mm -hmm. But for your safety, you need to leave. As he closes his eyes and you see almost like electricity crackling off him. And the last glimpse you get is he, his eyes open and you see another 20 stars appear. So, sorry, another 25 stars. Just fucking idiot. He actually probably still needs to release about another 20 stars worth of power if he doesn't want to die. I mean, that's fair, but but Zamani does, doesn't know that. <laughs> does, does, does Cal know that? Um, No. But he would you, be able to feel that, though. He would be yeah, able to you, feel that. Like. You feel, especially being that close to him. It is... There is more power in that one than probably the three within you. Right. Like, you can feel that thrum of power off. Zamaya just looks at Cal and goes, so you were testing out your shard abilities and now I'm really mad at you as everyone's about to burst in, got it? Right. Zamaya just starts yelling at you. I'm that sorry, all right? I, I didn't know how to do that. This is new to me. Like, oh, it's new to you? Okay, you know, we have talked about this with the stuff fucking stars and now you're just going to be fucking I'm... teleporting around all the time? Hey, Excuse hey, me. Hey, 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 what, what's wrong? The Redlands coming to... Mr. Stupidshar decided to, to try to teleport. That's what tried to happen. There's been some developments on the that side of things with the shards that have occurred. My prince. Next time you're fucking outside. I was doing something. <laughs> you know there's wards in here. My apologies. It was not... Do you know how many people you just woke up? <laughs> Yell at him some more. Too many. He deserves it. You know what? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Oh, All right, don't you dare hurts. hit me with that. <laughs> no, don't no. you dare. No, say it again. <laughs> hit him You're with the feelings. That's where he's most vulnerable. Red? Yeah, right. I mean, it is a common fact that I'm colorblind. Men, you're excused. <laughs> <laughs> As they, he starts escorting everyone, I just look back at Richard, just, wow. just <laughs> walking out. So Maya just gives him like a, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Well, good job. After they're like definitely gone, she's like, good job. You still that really wasn't well. acting. I know. That I'm was a lot of pent up. Did you want to talk about it, Zamani, some more? Do you, do you really want to open this kind of worms right now? Oh, God, no. Oh, there we go. That's, uh, that's what I thought. It. I just shit talking. Okay. So, we can dream tomorrow night because I told him tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Or I said tonight. I don't remember. Fuck. Tomorrow. What? I think he said. I don't remember. When's, when's the dinner? 
Can, tomorrow. Can we just make it so that the dream tomorrow. is after the dinner? Yes. So yeah, that we can do, we can after do the, dinner. the dinner. Yes, because so I don't want Adrian to dinner. just have to sit there being uncomfortable the whole time. Yeah, yeah. The night comes. For the sake of expediency. <laughs> yeah. The next morning you are woken up by, by handmaids, tailors, and the like. All ready for this dinner. There is like the money loves this. Sure. As they, you get a brief glimpse into what your your maid of honor day and your wedding day will be like. As you are getting sewn into a gown to make the perfect silhouette. So he just looks over, just like, please tell me that the world below has some kind of coffee. Des, is there coffee in the world below? How would they have coffee? Good point. Um, no, I'm afraid we just like, have you tea. Go, no, 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 don't say anything tea? after no, there's Go to my bag tea? of holding right now. All right. Yes, <laughs> Please. <laughs> please. I can't fucking breathe. Please get me right, right, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. There's a lot of junk in here. You know, I should probably clean hey, it Hey, another raid. Corsair's Cove with a party at 12. What's junk? up, guys? Oh, hello. How are you? <laughs> Great to have you here. How I'm just game complaining today? about being sewn into a dress. It's fine. Yeah, we're about to Don't go to a political dinner. Yeah, you standard. doing TTRPG stuff? What sort of tabletop role-playing game were you doing? Yeah. And was there a table? Really was there a top? Because I have two bottoms sitting on my table sure right now. Sure as hell, any here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, we got yeah. some table bottom role-playing game going on up in this house. <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> um. But yeah. So someone's like drunk. I'm the only one who has a bag of holding, and everybody hands me any, everything from a fucking spoon to hold on to. What do you want from me? I mean, I I could, I mean, if I had one, that'd be great. But we've only been given one. A, I'm, a, a portable spoon. hole. A portable right? hole. Right. You literally have. We've had three. I mean, this one here is a bit. It's. Oh yeah. Good it's point. I'm getting the coffee. I'm getting the coffee. I'm getting the coffee. Things all over the place. <laughs> It's 6 a.m. Fucker, what do you want from me? <laughs> so, the next two hours are grueling somebody. Cal, this is pretty regular. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sheer Cal torment sure of being signed to a dress. Cal, you have a nice suit. <laughs> Cal will make sure that an extra large pot of coffee is brewed. <laughs> they kind of go away with it. They look at it kind of curiously. I'm going to roll to see if they burn it. They better not. No, they don't. They comes back. It's not burnt. It's not yeah. good. Like, it's a little thick. Like, it does it's the fine. trick. It's fine. It's a little it's thick, fine. but it does the it's trick. Fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> it's just, it's just... <laughs> but double cheeked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. Anyways. So, making your way, the day... The morning is torment for money, but... Mm -hmm. It's alright. You see, at this stage, midday, Avanis comes to your room. As you're all, you're sitting there, like, corset it up. Your, your waist has never been more singed. <laughs> it's, you're just sort of like... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> like, it's how do you f wait? How does that work with wings? Uh, it's it's sewn around. Okay. I bet the tailors. That's a good like, question. Oh, damn it! What the fuck? Yeah, no, it's kind of more like a half corset, so it's like ribs down. The wings are more from uh, the top okay. of the back. You know, they they, they they took your needs. It's kind of like a backless. Right. It, it, um, and it's just, yeah. I see they went easy on you. How do they? F how do you fucking breathe in this? Breathing is a luxury, and ability is not afforded. How do you survive without air, then? It's just spite. That does well. Got it. You're um, you are looking well. This dinner will be interesting, but and the all eyes will be on. Just so you're. Aware. What? Light shade, I remember. <laughs> Callous India. Everyone is going yes. to know you've somehow claimed a new guard in the world below. I recognize yes. that you have different color stars in your eyes now. 
I don't know what way you want to approach that. So I'm going to leave that up to you. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't. Um, who's oh, going no, to be there? Oh no, you have to do something. The leader of every noble house. You've been sitting here for the last two hours making fun of me while I got sewn into this fucking thing. Let me be snippy. I can see it. <laughs> right. Uh, ladies and money, I do think your heels need to be taller. Okay. I mean, it's not going to help that much. Sorry. Right. No. Well, that's yeah. fine. She brings out these like platforms that will sit under your dress like 11 inches tall. Like. <laughs> Never had something quite that high, but it should be fine. Hello, Cindy. You probably want to figure out how you want to. I don't know if anyone will ask you directly. Perhaps the Inquisition. Mm -hmm. Can we expect delegations from the Inquisition there? Yes, this is a victory dinner. The leaders of the Inquisition will all be in attendance. Right. Well, I shall await my interrogation with... Excitement. All right. Ah. I shall think on this. I shall prepare. Do your best. And remember, this is all for House Thalcazia. Do not make any unnecessary remarks. And and you've been to these. <laughs> Uh, people get brought in. The grand hall is wall to wall, tables and grandeur. There is heralds announcing everyone come through. At first, you hear of Lady Solenda Tara Bamil, the leader of House Tara Bamil, coming in her dress is embroidered with a radiant star encircled by intertwined branches. You would know, Calisinder, that this is the family that is most loyal to the cathedral and the pillars of power that make up. Asian Alexander. Followed behind her is House Chayatheri with Lady Elandir, the symbol of a thorned vine intertwined in a shadowy silhouette. This family is Inquisition to fuck. They are a feeder family for that. Pretty much everyone in this family goes to the Inquisition. Behind that, probably one of the closest allies of Thalkazir, you see House Prabaatha. The symbol of raising, a rising sun casting its radiant rays, with Lady Amara coming through. After that, House Ayer Herodium, the sturdy iron heart adorned with intricate engravings. A lot of the warriors of the city, but more, not so much militaristic, these are the folk who want adventure. After that, the swirling storm with a cloud crackling with lightning is their symbol. Has Prakath and Avatham, Lady Virilith leading the charge. These are loyal to the Evening Tide Tower. Which is a pretty spooky mage place to be trained, but, you know, it does produce exceptional people like Irelin. Other houses follow, like House Kaval Konduma, the silver spear soaring against the night sky and their matriarch, House Manyazi. The two crossed oars that maintain the ships of your people. House Ilarada, the house your sister is to be married with their upside down tree with roots deeply embedded in the earth. House Velu and Dari, the shimmering silver moon reflecting the tranquil lake. House Rathiri Kalam, the crossed crescent moons. And Arkaneth family, not evening tide though. And lastly but not least, your father's family, House Taran Din. The glaive resting on the gates of Ishanhar Xandir. Each more magnificent than the last. Each matriarch's dress a beauty to behold in their house's own colours. All of them. And I mean every last one. As you and the royal family sit at the top table. It is not your dues to be announced at your own dinner. As you wait for your guests. You sit to the right of your mother. Sorry, you sit to the left of your mother. Your Elvana sits to her right, and the children flank the other side. So I don't suppose technically you'd be sitting beside your father. And then down the line, you, Zamani, Kalarik. Then other side is all the daughters, from oldest to youngest. 
So what mm -hmm. you're saying is this Amani is squished between two cows? Actually, no, I'm going to say it'd probably be <laughs> eldest cow, youngest cow. So yep, the sandwich. boys sit with their father in age order and the girls. So you're telling me the whole night Zamani would be hearing, you know what's fixed that? Cars and fear. No, he's sitting beside your father. So oh. as everyone comes through, the dinners are beautiful. They are resplendent and scrumptious. Ooh. Food the is good. Yeah, we're adjective to fuck today. Yeah. <laughs> I love that's how I follow that up. Um, yeah. <laughs> good literacy, bad literacy. But mm -hmm. after the first few courses are had, it's extremely difficult to eat in that dress of money. Yep. It comes to a lull as conversations start breaking out among different tables and people start getting up to move around and speak to, although it is pretty befitting of your family to not really get up and approach people because it does not look good of the ruling class to go to the other nobles. So the first yeah. to break any tension with the table of Thalcalzir, you see the glaive resting on the gates of Ijnar Xandir, the browns and oranges Obviously. of Tarandin. Of Ireland, the lady matriarch, sister, eldest sister of Amrathan. She is a masterful politician. She is known for her unwavering loyalty to the crown and her beauty is only secondary to that. She walks up to the table. She greets her brother. She bows to her queen. Then she raises a glass to your family. One by one, the houses see that this sort of procession is starting and each of them make their toast to Thalcalzir's longevity, majesty and royalty. Each of them bears different sorts of glances for the left side of the table. <laughs> the cows and Zamani, so would you have it. As she was the first to break the tension to show goodwill to Thalcazir, though, Lady of Ireland walks up to Zamani. Hmm. Well, 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 if it isn't the Lady of the Night. Hello, I've, I've heard much about you. I hope so my brother has you. said plenty good about me. He has. He seems to look up to you a lot. My dear, you are in strange waters, but if you need something to lean on, you may rest upon the glaive of Tarandin. Thank you. We shall protect you like you. we do the city. I've heard much of you and your, your family, and that means more than you know. I have been Doing told to a little about you. I shan't feign to know you well, but I look for the day when I can proclaim I do. I do as well. I'd, I'm looking forward to getting to know everybody and to understand this world. She a bit more. There's a bit of a bow. And you see this kind of like, she's also kind of leading the thing to get the matriarchs to come and say something on this marriage. <laughs> so, yeah, you want her to say, you're like, please, don't go, don't go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only going to go downhill from here. Yeah, so after this, uh, you see a very, very beautiful, and like these greens and browns, a, a symbol of the upside down tree, almost like you can see the roots are forming down into the, the, the bottom of the gown. Lady cool. Aramal Ila Arada. The mother of who your sister is being betrothed to. Ah, right. Well. Lady Zamani, is it? It is. It's lovely to meet you. Lady Arada? I th you just said it. Lady Arada. Is, yeah, you can okay, call her Lady. Proper... Lady Ila Arada is her family Lady name. Ila but okay, so that would be the proper Aramal way is her name. Zamani greets her in the proper starless yeah. manner that she has been taught yeah, to. Yeah, you could say, lady, technically you're of a house above them, so you do not need to address them by their family name. So you can address them by their first name. So, Lady Aramal. Okay. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you, Lady Aramal. And I don't feign to know as much as I should yet, but I am doing my best to learn. It's lovely to meet you. I do not know much of you. 
But our houses shall be joined soon. You shall be joining Thalcazia, and so shall my son. As a testament to the unification and beauty between our homes, the druid crafts this very small little flower of the world below and hands it to you. Aww. Which you can see there's like stink eye from the Inquisition family being like heresy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like, thank you. What a wonderful gift. I'll cherish it. I shall have a proper sproutling brought to your your keep on the on the surface as a due wedding gift. That would be lovely to have. It would be our pleasure. As she makes her way off to the side. Then kind of very, very easily coming up, you see Lady Amara, not <laughs> very similar names unfortunately, um but you Amara Prava. I did, yes. Very charismatic and very, very nice. She's got these like warm golds and uh, yellows. She's perhaps on the younger side of the matriarchs. Um, hers is the House of Hope and the feeder family for Fort Yerkes and that controls the large military. But also, luckily mm -hmm. enough, is the crown loyal family as well. She makes her way up and she goes, It is a pleasure, Lady Ismani. I have heard much from Cal about you. He has spoke. <laughs> Wonders, which she's also referring to, Cal's older brother. Not yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Your um, he has been boasting of the latest addition to his family around Fort Yerkson. Thank you. That's wonderful to hear. I had a very enjoyable conversation with him recently about the surface. Yes, he he had told us of his plans to help you institute cause in view on the surface. It is an excellent idea, but perhaps a shy bit impractical. I, but not I something did not that... no. Oh. I, I apologize. <laughs> that was just a me and you mess up. She's <laughs> like, maybe a little impractical, but honestly, it's it's the thought and just the desire to want to help that means a lot. It is a noble cause. I do not know much of your person, and I have not known much of the younger Calisindia. So I, I forgive if my gift of your betrothment is a shy bit impractical or nonsensical for your tradition, but I give you a gift, a shield crafted in Prabhatha's style for each of your matches to display above your mantle. Oh, thank you. I've never had such a, a gift before. It's very kind of you. So we have worked in conjunction with House Tarandin to have matching glaives and suits of armor be ready to Protect your hull. I can't wait to see it. Thank you. The deep bow. Thank you. Now, probably the the oddest looking of the the royal houses is I'm just gonna get a uh, name up. Where it's gone? Um, Cabal. So. As Kapala Kontuma, silver spear soaring across the midnight sky, you see Lady Falaria. Her house is in charge of the Katari, the spider men that fuel the Inquisition and the army. The only matriarch in a pantsuit. <laughs> and she, she walks up to you and she goes, hmm, Won't you be a little taller? Fortunately, just. My kind tend to err on the much shorter side. Here. I'm doing my best. And she like looks at her. She shows off her shoes a little bit. I have to get it adjusted. Um, well, to the royal couple. House Caval Kanduma has prepared two of our best Tari men for the both of you. Thank you. To be collected at your discretion from our hold. May they serve you unbreakable companions that lead you to a land of freedom. Thank you. The, it's greatly appreciated. I got to see them, or at least a summoned version, briefly when we were on the surface when Bokatil ended up uh, summoning them when we were traveling. They're quite impressive. I've never yeah. seen anything like them. They are unique to the world. Your house 
Read the finest in the whole of the world below. It'd be an honor of ours to have us there. Thank you. Next up is a woman who can only be described as looks like she smelt something wrong. Lady uh, Elandia uh, Shiathery, the Inquisition yes, loyalist, a thorn vine intertwined in a shadowy silhouette. The thorns of her dress match her personality as she walks up purely for a formality and she goes, Congratulations on the betrothal. I hear there will be great things of you. Hmm. Prince Galicinda, I hear you have not returned to the Inquisition yet. Well, you must understand, the past few days have been exceptionally busy here. First time I've been home in five years. Don't worry, though, I will see to it that I'm... That's all right. I do not know of the surface co customs for marriages of love or the presents given for such things, so I have prepared but a small illusionary display to be given to you. Uh, she, um, she puts forward and you see this like beautifully crafted set of roses, except all the petals are of purple and red flame, a matching set in a big glass jar, and she goes, May they burn as passionately as your love for each other. That is what that Thank is. Thank you. Thank you. That... Although what is small, thoughtful gift? like you said, it is indeed thoughtful. Thank you. May you um, return to the Inquisition and continue its greatness. Of course. What, what was her first name again? Um, Lady Elandir. Thank you very much, Lady Elandir. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. I will do my best, my lady. Thank you for your blessing. I just wanted to reaffirm that whole first name thing for people below you. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> she kind of she does not linger. And next, you do see someone who looks quizzically at you. Lady Selenda Tower of Emil, the cathedral lord of this family, you feel like she has a feeling that she kind of knows. She walks mm -hmm. up and she looks over you and she goes, Well, lady, my lord and lady, I must say red suits you, Prince Callus India. Thank you. She's of the, ch the church. The, the cathedral. Yeah. So she probably She's knows the... the it's also one of her daughters that Kalasind is probably going to have to ask to be yeah. a priestess on the surface. A priestess on the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I just wanted to make sure that I, I was connecting the correct things. I do not know what a greater gift to give than the union of love you have found between each other. So, I... I submit to your request, whatever you so wish. You will have a sort of tower of a meal. Thank you. That it is most is gracious of you. Very generous offer. Until then, I suppose a tapestry will do, as we have had one made up of the dying gods. The first journey on to Quintus. It would be an honour to hang it in my halls on the surface. Thank you. It is I something that Cal had mentioned. Proudly missing being able to see when we were in our travels we came across the ruins with some tapestries in them but they were in no state to be taken down it means a lot thank you we shall hopefully make good allies in the future my friend I look forward to it I hope so which is kind of a, a knowing look to who she just mm -hmm. followed there's like a yeah. You're gonna. <laughs> that's kind of weighted with you need allies. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> we're really like. E. Next yeah. up is the sturdy iron heart of the, of Asian heart Xandir, House Ayer Herodium, Lady Lyra Seer. She walks up. She's her face is a little bit more hard and angular than the rest. She is known to be a fearless leader, strong warrior during her cars and beer. Well, my prince, princess, I know you have much time to speak to everybody, but not much time for yourself, so I can't take up too much of it as time is precious. You're most kind. I imagine you will have a lot of fruitful gifts and a lot of 
stuff you will shove into a closet and never look at. <laughs> so with that, I wish to give you a gift of practicality. I have had our minds of both iron and electrum scoured for any stonework that could do you well, as I hear you have a keep on the surface. You shall have supplies aplenty from house here at Iron. Thank you. We're currently in repairs and expansion, and that would be of great, of great, great use to us. It is my intention to hopefully use these stones, these materials, to build a church, the Dying God, on the surface. <laughs> to spread his light. Would have asked that to Tarabu Mill. <laughs> she walks away. <laughs> There's a bit of a lull as people are still talking around. If you have any time or people you want to approach before, although it is a little bit unbecoming of you. I'm not yeah. supposed to. Zamani's not going to do anything that she's not supposed to do. Like, so what? who's left out of so... the families? Is there anyone? Oh, the families left to approach you. Um, Prakath and Avatham, the, the Evening Tide Terror Loyalists, have to be mm -hmm. done. Uh, they will eventually make their way to you. Kaval Kadim is done. Um, Man Yazi is still needed. Um, still need anything to me. Velu and Daria is needed. Rathri uh, Kalam is like needed. Like the Isle? <laughs> Look, who knows? <laughs> Um, so no, you got one, two, like, that's a little flower. She's just like mm -hmm. three. I have my flower. I'm happy. Four <laughs> houses like, left to actually approach you. Cool. Okay. Okay. I assume as well, like there'll be plenty of t like there will be time afterwards to speak. Yeah. After like, the but just in case there's anyone you want to like call over, like a relin, or if there's anyone you want to speak to again so far of the families that have approached you. Look, you some there is, but more. Cal's going to play it very safely <laughs> and formally, so. as he knows the procedure. Next Lamani up to approach you will she be... She doesn't want to give anyone the opportunity to criticize her, like, more uh -huh. than they already are going to, just in general. You see Manyazi approach the... Which I believe, I want to say, is the house that was meant to be betrothed to Calisindia, although I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, I could be right, I have to go back and check my notes. It doesn't really matter. Um, actually, you know, I, I'd said someone, didn't I? remember. No, it might have been Prakath and oh. That was it. Doesn't matter. Anyway, this Lady Seredil shows up wearing the symbology of two cross doors made of platinum. Very, very just kind of like serene, like just chill that. Here, mm -hmm. I'll keep us close to water. It is, I don't yes. know how you're going to get it there, but we've got a boat for you. Oh. I thank you. I thought you can sail it on Lake Erebus. Eat it's fine. Yeah. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. We shall try to transport it to the surface, as I'm sure it will draw the envy of many of the people up there. Mm. Same buoyancy up there. I'm asking the wrong person, actually. I believe the... You are asking the wrong person, but I would welcome someone from your house to my keep if they wanted to test it. Mm. There's a lot of um, a lot of houses you need to make happy again because you've made a lot of them angry, <laughs> Prince Gavis and Indeed, Indeed, we're being honest. As I believe it was one of my own daughters that was looking to be put forward for your hand. I do apologize to you for that. It is all right. I can see why you picked who you did. She is lovely in her own regard. Thank you. That's none of my daughters have wings. <laughs> <laughs> Do they also have a tail? No. Oh, like you have a tail. <laughs> she like is it practical like... or is it purely aesthetic? Well, it's quite practical, especially when flying. I can also grab things with it. And she like goes over and she grabs a fork. <laughs> ah, Calisinda, I understand now. My daughters <laughs> cannot do that. And she walks away. <laughs> I was going to tell her about, ask her about salt water, because that apparently changes buoyancy. Oh, and mm -hmm. there'd be plenty of time to talk to her, don't worry. I think you'd like her. I like her. Next up would be, of course you're hush pretty hush. Family, yeah. familiar with, um, Rathiri Kalam, uh, Dia Vadir, is the, a, like a strong source, she's 
not a big fan of the evening tide tower. She's like, shouldn't be so hush hush and secretive. Um, mm -hmm. you know, because that's kind of like the, the inner circle of Narcaneth. If she approaches, mm -hmm. she goes, There's many wedding gifts to be given out to Thalcalzia lately, and I find myself running out of good ideas, but I remember your oh. time at Narcaneth for quite some time, and I think I know of a few texts that you found quite fond when you were there. I have your old library records for all the books you'd made decent research of, so I have provided copies to be sent to your keep. Thank you, that is most kind. I have been longing for the great texts we have down here. You do not know yeah, if you've outgrown them. You do appear to have many, many stars, and you have, I assume, outgrown much. And well, the knowledge we have down here is timeless. It is timeless. I am... Um, I hope we can find new unity between our houses, as you are no longer a candidate for my own. Yes. I hope that we can it. still draw close. I do apologize. <laughs> it is not yours to apologize. The prince has made his decision. You are of Thassa nobility, I am told. I am, yes. A baron? Yes. Is there many great houses in Thassa? Does, does the mine know? Um, Roman history. Got it. Okay, come on, come on, little blue dice. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. What's my modifier? Let's see. Maybe. History starts with an H. Plus two. Okay. That's an 18. Um, Morvis's father did have a lot of them killed because he didn't want to even have claimed to be the sovereign of Sathasa. Understandable. There used to be in the past, but in more recent years, there have not been nearly as many. And do you intend to take the Thalcazir name or is he going to take the Marid? Mero? Mero. 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 To be honest, it's something that we hadn't quite discussed yet. The customs on the surface are a bit flipped as they are down here. Hmm. I suppose you are doing quite surface style betrothment. Perhaps it is. More fitting for you to join. As you are in Azari, you do not have an oak crest in here, so custom would dictate you take that Kalzia. I would be honored to. How have you found our city? Is it to your liking? Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's very different from anything that I've ever seen, but not in a negative way. In a very interesting, and I find even the most simplest little nooks and crannies are absolutely mystifying in ways. Yeah. The sheer unity of your people is, is remarkable. <laughs> Oh, my friend Scalacindy, she is good with her words. You have been yes, someone is. who is well suited to this. I know our yeah. houses are not historically diametrically or opposite aligned. Since you are no longer a candidate, I could do nothing but wish you luck. Thank you. And perhaps in the future I generations, we can see to it a different. Perhaps. I should very much like it if our house is true closer. I do feel that you have grown the ire of some within the city. Mm. But perhaps they draw wrong from what is the true purpose of our people. You know ours Thanks. is the wisdom, sir. So. Should you need guidance, you need only ask. Thank you. Again, it kind of gets quiet for a while. There's only really two families needing to approach to you. One is the Evening Tide, which historically speaking is not a Thalcalzir fan. Mm -hmm. what, what's up with Zelly during this time? Uh, like, she is like he's... shrinking into her chair. She's like beside Aww. you. She's just like <laughs> trying to make herself look small. Zimani so probably uh, would have like used her tail to just kind of like give her like a little like squishy like Little, little, like, reassuring little rap, like, squishy grabs and things. Yeah. Because she's trying to look proper, so, like, your tail's sort of, like, <laughs> under the table or whatever. It serves many purposes. As you're doing that, Lady yeah, Kenavili uh, Valuandari approaches. 
The s shimmering silver moon reflected in the lake of Urimuth. A what you feel in history, Cal, was a neutral house. A very like mm -hmm. this was a house that was just slow to make any decisions. Mm -hmm. Well, it is nice to see you, Kalas India, and Zamani. I thank you for gracing our halls. I believe it was your plan to unify the President and the Starless. It was, yes. Although I can see where there has been some back and forth on that. Yes, that uh, was not the big fan for most people in the noble houses. I'm sure so it did just... not win you much favor. No. But I would rather try to do the right thing than always regret to get the favor of those around me. Hmm. That is wise. It takes good intuition and I believe your mother had originally decided one of my daughters would be marrying you, Alice India, but if she blesses this, so does our queen. And who knows? Maybe in the future. Someone else. Maybe. Would it be safe to assume that like the the um like she had like never been to the circus because if like that that would be like an, an appropriate thing. Zamani would probably uh, say something about like if you'd ever like to to see. Oh, the she's no, the circus, no one from the noble houses has been to the circus here. Okay, mm -hmm. so bringing up like, hey, if you if you would ever like to stop by our uh, our keep on the surface to to see the moon against a lake or as against the ocean, you are welcome. Is that like if that would be inappropriate? She wouldn't no, say that it. That is a gracious offer. I cannot guarantee my own arrival, but we, my uh, my youngest son, is coming upon the eve of his ninety sixth birthday, and would do some worldly experience, a world of good, for he partakes in his cousin via. Should you have him in your home? I mean, I I can't make the decisions for for both of us, but I I would love to. I'm very sorry. I'm not used to addressing. The males of this situation. Callus India, if, if, Prince Callus India, if this would suit your keep. We would be honored to host him there and to keep him safe. Yes. He would do well to I learn do. from you. You have become quite the, um, quite the talk of the city. So I've picked up. Mm. For both good and bad. Oh, plenty bad. Oh, plenty plenty good. bad, but also plenty good. That weighs each other. Well, we have yet time to wait. You're only back a few days. Indeed. Indeed. That is true. I hope to speak Our to as many of the great houses as I can in that time. I believe I meant to give you a wedding present now. I did not bring anything. I will arrange for my son to bring something. Thank you. Sounds I good. could not make a decision. Decisions can be difficult. Mm-hmm. Yes. Especially yes. on such an impromptu notice. Yes. I figure best to get something appropriate rather than something rushed like <laughs> House Chiat what, what Which house was that? Was that, that the was the Inquisition Loyalist that gave you the burning roses. Uh, I look forward to see what you come up with. I promise to get it within your lifetime, ladies and money. I do not know what percentage of elven blood you have. There is... Much speculation on that, so I do not know how long you live, but I will try and do it with at least the next century. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you. the thought. <laughs> Somebody over here like, <laughs> I better be giving so up a pinky sooner than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, but not leastly, there is Lady Virilith, Rakath, and Avatham. One of, if not the strongest sorceresses in the world below, she would have trained her Ellen. She is the head of the Evening Tide Tower. She is a swirling storm, cloud with crackling energy, commands of the elements. She walks up and she looks not happy. Well, it's good to see that, for whatever reason, Talwin declined my offer. She got you back here in one piece, or you got her back in here in one piece. Do I know what she's talking about? No, but Kalasindir does. <laughs> yes. Yes, Very rare um, people say no to the Evening Tide Tower. I was surprised to hear it when I did. 
Perhaps wasted talent. But perhaps it was just. Perhaps. You're, um... What? You're quizzical. I have been told bits of your child. Uh, the young lady Zelly and her, her soul spanned within her. Yes, the... <laughs> would very much so I'm like to uh, perhaps help you understand it better. The Evening Tide Tower has many magics that you could sparsely Tower imagine. Starts gripping. He's just like gripping. His fingers just dig yep. into like his <laughs> chair, into like his... I deeply appreciate the offer. It means a lot. As far as magics go when it comes to more specific things of this nature, we are less prepared on the surface. Um, although I do not believe that we'll have time in this short visit while we're down here. Your, your wish it to aid means more than you know. <laughs> this is why as politely as she could, I can't. Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. I'm told she'll be an exceptional mage. Yes, there is rumor going around that Absolutely. she will do well. Mm -hmm. I have perhaps rather than concern myself with our current generation, concern ourselves with the generations moving forward. So my present to you on this bountiful day is a collection of notes on the arcane matters for your daughter. Thank you. I'd also hoped that if you are to stay on the surface, that I could nominate a member of Prakatha Navatham to help teach the starless on your surface that you, I assume, will be taking with you back in the ways of magic to help the Evening Tide Tower not lose its yeah. touches. And perhaps there's more to learn on the surface. Yes, uh, we actually oh. recently opened up a school for our growing community. That would be a lot. Yeah, the young lady Zelly has been making her way through the uh, through the halls of the Citadel, apparently bragging about her teacher, like tells you. Yes. Mm. He's quite uh, gifted in Graviturgy magic. Graviturgy. It's an interesting form of magic. I'm not very aware of it. But I'm sure Prakath Van Avatham should have more magic then. Could be studied by one person. And the same mm. should be said for the surface. And if you are to open a school, you will need the best. Especially if there are Thank starless you. children expected on the surface. Yes. Of course. Of course. We would be honoured. So thank you. It is my utmost pleasure. My life without Gazio, as they say. I remember thank when you. it was my house for... Well, I don't remember, but my family remembers when it was my life for Gore's Ale. So be it. Be to walk. We do our best with the changing times. Which I believe is the last of the families. Let me just double check my list. So far, no one was actually just straight up 100% fuck you, and that makes the body feel yeah. like it's a successful they night. They cannot be. <laughs> I know. Comes the Inquisition. Because <laughs> remember, to get to you, they have to pass by Queen Zil's Rosanna, and she's just like... I'm... True. She only yeah, needs a I'm... single eyebrow. I'm there was definitely a time in that last now. conversation where Zamani's tail like gets a little bit tighter around like his Zilly's hand or, yeah. or whatever. I was just like gripping onto his chair the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Um, just looking around now. Now that the last house is gone, do I see where the Inquisition, the the current heads are? Yeah, they are sitting at a table that is not denoted so much for like the any like so each each great house has its own table and then there's like combination houses tables and like mm -hmm. there's an inquisition table there's a yerickson table um you see the great the leaders of the inquisition are all sitting at um names pra nope Triathery, the inquisition noble house table yep. they're sitting talking to lady amara right not to be confused with lady a aramal <laughs> you did this on purpose yes it's like cal and cal you know there's yeah. no confusion yeah yeah, like, you know, Andaria? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the right. only one being? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so they're in conversation. They're not, like, staring daggers at Callus in there right now. Good. Uh, no, they've actually clocked you, though. Okay, as, as expected. Um, so where it enters now, is it sort of the period where people start to get up? Yeah, so now it would be going. considered so, okay for the royal family to approach people. Not the queen. Your father pretty yes. much instantly gets up when he moves off to the Tarantian table. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, of course, hey. of course. 
it was like yeah. it gets a bit more lively music begins to play um it's it's more comfortable um there's a couple people that are definitely like keeping eyes on you there's a couple that look look to be perhaps trying to catch your eye trying not to catch your eye yeah give me just a general insight check though cal to see kind of your feeling of whether or not they are for or against you can like, i do that too uh, i'm more mean as the like the callous india as a as a person oh uh, yeah do i, have a I was also wondering one of those yeah go uh, for it 12. 12. Ooh, not good yeah, yeah. it's not ready I got a nat 20. Wait, what, what perception? Perception. Eight, 21 seven. with a nat 20. Okay. Hey. So I'll say houses that you can get, not guarantee, but like um, houses that you feel are warmly receptive to you during this is Taran Din, um, Valu Andari. Is, uh, uh, Taran Din is Am Rathen's family. That's, tell me uh, the gifts they uh, gave. Um, <laughs> so the suit of armor. The turned in, so that's the what you call it, um, Calisinder's father's family. Um, Valu and Dari, which is offering, doesn't really know what to give yet, but I offer to send yep. a, I believe, a squire up to you. Mm -hmm. They seem pretty receptive to you. Um, Ella Arada mm -hmm. seems pretty receptive purely for the fact that they are marrying Cal's older sister. Yeah, um, that was the flower. Yes, it was. Uh, Manyalzi feels. Pretty receptive. They are the ones who have the um, the ship ready for you. Got it. Mm -hmm. I like her. Yeah. Um. Other than that, I would say Praba Alpha feels quite good, and so does Tara Bamil, So the cathedral and the the cr already crown loyal. So one, two, three, four, five, six of the six of the eleven great houses feel on some way pretty pretty good with you i want to speak to terrible mill terrible mill okay you go find ladies uh Selenda. yeah that'd be the first one that cal would probably unless zamani makes it knowing that she wants to speak to someone beforehand or no that's okay um she would ask you if you want to go together or like you said the music picks up is there like a dance floor type of yeah thing? there's people dancing oh okay, okay. Then Zamani will dance with Zelly to kind of like give her something yeah. to do so that she gets to like take her mind off of things a little bit. Yeah. Hey, Camera Gaming, 69 bits. Thank you. Nice. Thank you for the great number. Thank you. Nice. Game of nice. bits. Appreciate it. <laughs> Game of bits. Look, there's two numbers of gamer bits 69 and 420. Those are the only gamer <laughs> numbers of bits. But, um, but yeah, wasn't it? You want to approach Lady Solanda. Easy enough. She is comfortable. She, her house seems to be quite well respecting and like surrounding her. She looks up to you and she, ah, Prince Callas India. Lady Solanda, oh, you are finally tall for your people. <laughs> well, that is one uh, beneficial part of this journey that I have embarked on. I did um wish to speak with you on a few notes, but... By all means. Um, you may often do as you say. You can leave your mother to discuss these things. You can no, see I there's haven't. like off in the corner like the husband's table forming where all like the military men who've been on their cars here are like, yeah, it's like glasses are clinking. It's it's getting yeah. raucous. Yeah. Um, well, um, it has been my intention and as I've well, said, I'm trying to remember, what was the House of the Stone? Um, here and I, a year here and I am. Lady Lyra here. And as you may have heard when, I'm, I'm just going to say that house there. Um, SMH. Until Can't I get all this, <laughs> this, this spelling. Um, uh, you have it. I've sent you guys notes. Uh, it's in the downtime sessions notes. If you, I can give you the link oh. again if you guys want that link. We yes. should pin it this time. Yes, we should pin it this time. Let's be smart. This is just some of my downtime notes. It's but it also smart. has the leaders and all the symbols. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ah, oh, okay. Pinned yes. It. Much better, much better, much better. Um, but yes, as you heard, 
myself with him. I wish to construct a church on the surface outside <laughs> my keep no in Eraya. I was wondering if there was any of your house that would be gracious enough to accept the role there. The first priest or priestess of the church. Any that are well, show interest what? in the matter. I understand that you may have no, other plans no. for them. Appreciate your candor and your, your bravery to approach such a matter. Normally, I would have expected this request from your mother, but you show good initiative. It's unusual for one of the men to be doing this. But my daughter, Leora, I had initially thought to propose her in marriage to you. You're of similar age. Although I do not believe it is our tradition to take on many wives, she's also an exceptional priestess. Wonderful. Well, it would be an absolute honour to have her on the surface. Making sure that the spiritual needs of the Starless and those up there that are... Well, who may convert are seen to. Excellent, excellent. I will need to send a few people with her, obviously, for her own safekeeping. Um... Of course. I wouldn't expect otherwise, and I will ensure that they all are kept safe there and have suitable accommodation. Yes, I will send a small contingency. Um, I may have some friends I could teleport. When are you going back? When are we going back, Des, in terms of... You don't have a hard deadline right now. Okay, okay. Um, I imagine we'll be down here for at least a few more days. Mm. After this dinner. I imagine... Perhaps you have teleportation circles on the surface now at this stage. Of some sort. Do you have your own? We have one that is being uh, drawn up as we speak and it should soon be completed but I've been using the services of uh, faithful Ruventier on the surface who has been able to teleport mm. us in and out Ruventier, I believe um, I believe I know that do I know that name from he's with the Inquisition, is he not? he is he is loyal he is a... Oh, Ruventir Pragatha Navasam. Oh. He's loyal to you. I did not think Virilith looked too happy with you. No, she did not. That is that one of her sons. to be expected. It's, wait, that's also... Your your childhood friend, Irelin, that is not the house that took him in, no? It is. So You may, I, you may use feel... your friends as... What is it? A fulcrum? A lever? To perhaps try and repair that relationship. That was my intention. I do not wish to be in, well, bad blood of House Prakath Anavatam. Yes, I heard the last people that turned against them, they turned into a fish, but that's purely speculation. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that, or there'd be quite the, uh, quite the uh, unsightly end for the Prophet. Yes, <laughs> no, that would not you're doing well, I'm told. I okay. had been quite fond of Aniatha, but it is good to see that she goes to put her faith in someone with, well, some credence. I hope that I can continue her legacy and do justice to what she helped construct here. I suppose, technically speaking, she constructed nothing. The temple was built before her time. So all you really no, have to do is keep the... preaching the words of the Dying God and you should be right on track. I should be right on track, which I have not strayed from, so I just hope that the cathedral here will be, well, I know it'll be in good hands. Harry, you're going to use the materials to construct that cathedral? Mm-hmm. Oh. How do you plan to get the materials there? That is another matter, which I suppose there are a few people I need to talk to about that. I know that they offered it, but I was curious if they had a plan in mind for transporting it. What? Um, 
Hmm. A logistical problem. It is a logistical problem, but one that I'm sure we'll be able to overcome. I had heard that, um, perhaps, I believe, um, Anyasi had prepared a boat for you. Perhaps you just load up your boat and tell the boat. Ship. Is a ship or a boat? You can, I'm not too... You can ship a boat, you can't boat a ship. It's a ship. It's a ship? All right, I'm not too, uh, too knowledgeable on nautical affairs. Mm. I'll admit, that is a weakness of mine. You should get your friend around and see if you can teleport a ship. That would be most helpful. Do them both at the same time. Should just load up all your gifts, have a party ship. <laughs> now that would be quite the size when I arrive on the surface with that. Make sure he lands it in the anyway. water. Well, it'd be a... Uh, Don't bring it straight to your keep. The... That would look awful silly. Crashing through the walls. No, I thought I mean, gently placed it up. Be quite the uh, tourist attraction. Hmm. Tourism. The one sector of Asian Alexander we struggled with. Yes, I suppose the dangerous channels filled with creatures that wish to devour you would stop uh, many casual travellers. I was more worried about the great noble houses that wish to devour you, but I suppose this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, that's only an issue for people once they hit well, this uh, status. How is your little prose doing? Museum? I think she's clearly not in any part of which I can <sighs> tell, which is uh, she's doing well. The rumor is Despite... that she is, so I don't know who started that. I think for all of her concerns, she is managing to do an admirable job here. It is <laughs> very confronting. Do you uh, perhaps humor an old woman with uh, a question? Because uh, there is rumor going around court. Why? And I just, I I am a sucker for rumours and gossip, and I would like to know the answer of if course. you would enlighten me. And perhaps I'm one of the only houses that either does not care enough, or is just close enough with your family to not care. <laughs> is she with Chuck? Please. No. Pity. A lot of us that were hoping she was. <laughs> I'm sure that would bring my mother a lot of joy, but... Mm. For the time Tell being. me, have you thought about a betrothal for the little young Azaria you've adopted? We have not. Hmm. She looks remarkable. She is remarkable. I dare say one of the most remarkable individuals I've met on the surface, despite her age. Do they know? Like, are they aware? Um, rumor has spread through court. Safe secrets do not last long here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I figured. I was just wondering, like... Yeah. <laughs> I would think I, about trying cool. to repair some bridges for your family. You should arrange a few possible betrothals for... Should you have children, at the very least. A if few I houses may, um, that teeter on the edge. Yeah. Correct for you. If I may get your... Opinion on the matter as someone that is... Loyal... My house, yeah, Alcazia. What houses are those that currently could still be swayed? Or are in the process of being swayed? My dear boy, I do not think it's poignant to talk about this with so many years around. Unless you so wish for me to, as Tower of a Mill, out my knowledges to each house. And I guarantee you, even in my own house, that marriages people still will be reporting back to their mothers. Oh, of course. That is fair. I did have that a... Uh, speak to Tarun, in. Perhaps they know better than I. <laughs> Although, perhaps not, because I suppose there's an issue with Tara of Mill and Tarun, Din, and I suppose also... Eh, uh, Baba Arthur. We're all known as Crown Loyalists. Hmm. So, we don't concerns trust us quite do... as much. Yeah, my concerns do not lie with any of you. I know that my faith and trust in you will be well placed. Without a doubt. My boy, what you what you lost in betrothal chance for my house, you made up in faith. I know that Aww. above... Any house, yours, respects faith and understands the faith. And I know 
that you know of what occurred. And I just want to tell you that I intend to see that the faith of our people does not go to waste. My boy, I think Tower of the Mill is the closest house that can trace its roots back to Lord's Ale. Through marriage, of course. We know of the secret. Uh -huh. Secret it is. It won't be for very long, I assume. But that is the plan. You have our backing. I would stress, perhaps, strengthening ties with anyone who has. Well, I suppose, honestly, your probable best bet to make ties, if we're speaking in hushed voice, is you need to, perhaps, speak to Lady Falaria. The cavalry truly is the strength of our people, but no one is stronger than them in cavalry. Other than that, they may not look it, but... The um, names in a second. Uh, house a year, and I am do produce the best archers of our people. Right. Well, thank you. Which is not a house you've gotten a vibe from that is like on your side right now. Yep, yeah, they are like in the middle from where I kind of picked up. Uh, no one rolled high enough to know where they are. I just told you the houses that were leaning towards you. Not yeah. not loyal, but leaning. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you for that, lady. You've done me a great surface offering your wisdom on the matter. I am... I am, I suppose, known for it. Not just for my house, but for our community. And I wish to see all stars return to what you are. Until the stars return, young prince. Until the stars return. And not the old way. Which you look around and it's kind of an odd sight as most it's daughters of families moving their way around to talk to the various matriarchs and then Calisindir mm -hmm. is moving his way around. And this is Calisindir going around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um It's Zelly like I mean, sorry, Zamani's biggest concern is like equally like doing everything that she's supposed to be doing right to like mm -hmm. to make the family proud or to like fulfill those obligations and then to make Zelly as comfortable as possible yeah so that's why like now that she she's like cool the biggest obligation part of the night she's done her best in and she doesn't want to potentially fuck anything up by walking up to the wrong table or the wrong people mm -hmm. like getting in over her head so she's going to focus on Zelly and then if anybody like approaches them while they're like having a fun fun little time on the dance floor then that's totally fine yeah that's fine most houses are in full honesty. There is, even though the houses that are loyal to Salkaz are still, there's still a little bit of like, that girl just came in and stole our fucking chats. So, yeah. There's not like yeah. the biggest yeah. thing. You do find yourself at a certain point, the dance floor is like getting quieter. It's only you and Zelly. And you're like, is it getting awkward? And you look across the floor and there's just like, people are thinning out, perhaps to try and make you look a fool. And your eyes yeah. lock with Amrathen, and you see he just got, starts chanting and starts slamming his drink, and all of the Tarandin guys start just getting up and come start dancing around. You just like big <laughs> hype circle, and it's just like he yeah. is not allowing it. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, and he's got like that's my dad. eight brothers, and they're just all their families just. <laughs> and Zamani's used to being around like big boisterous like bar guys. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. like. They are forgetting their nobility in this moment, but... Yeah. Oh, that's totally the, fine. Um, the Tarandins um, are just like the is, most like, casual. Yeah. They're the most comfortable because their yes. one of their their eldest son is the king. They have... Yeah. Like, yeah. His, oh, like his... He was, I believe, in time born just after his sister. And he is mm -hmm. the eldest. So all the boys in that family looked up to him because he also bagged the queen. <laughs> Cal Which is his telling like first, of Of course, of course. <laughs> Cal will see the first genuine smile on Zamani's night where they're all just like being kind of silly. Yeah. Um, I would say after that, like, Cal just, just have a smile on his face. Despite his, his previous comment about not being smiling much, he, he's, yeah. he's walking around with it. Yeah. Um, At some point, I assume someone like picks up Zelly and like, she's like on someone's shoulder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, she's like, I, just, like, she, you don't know how quickly it happened, but. You notice a lot of the kids come out around Amrath. Whatever, oh. there's like the fatherly presence. And yeah. I suppose specifically one that's very interesting is 
and Nett comes out and she gets quite like Amrathan feels like a comfort person for her. Aww. She's not crying, she's not scared, like she just wants to be held. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sweet. Um Okay. I, I do have some so other people I want to <laughs> I do have some other people I want to speak to this. Um, yeah, go for it. Wait, how are uh, we for time, is... guys? Do you need to end? Don't no, really. Uh, I'm okay. I, I would say, like, uh, I've gotten to... The next hour is 12 for me, so I've gotten until 12, and then after that. So, like, 40 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll let you guys have fun for 40 minutes, then. Okay. <laughs> Run wild for 40 minutes. I did want to speak to the... Uh, let me find him. No, the list. Um... Uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, Man Manyazahi, the the boat people. Manyazi, the, yes. The ship ship family, yes. yes. Manyazi. Seredil, she's Seredil, which Zamani is welcome to to come with as well. Um, she's like kind of very like pretty. She's pretty chill. She's like she's like got your ship. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would say unless you like come over and explicitly like mentioned to Zamani like she's like over here like like she's like her her demeanor has changed a bit like she's much more yeah. relaxed she's telling like bar stories with them like like she's like yeah. having a good time now <laughs> in that case Cal wouldn't Cal wouldn't disturb her Cal wouldn't disturb her he would let her like, have she, time. she's still holding herself in like what she's perceiving to be like a respectful manner but she's definitely like mm -hmm. more like she's matching the vibe with them yeah Cow in so, that case, he would he would let he would let Zamani have a fun time. So um, you make your way to the Manyazi table and Lady Seradiel is she's just sitting back drinking wine. Doesn't look like anyone's really talking to her. She's just kinda of like watching the the crowd unfold and she's just Yeah. Hey, may I take a seat? Hey, you may take as many as you wish. <laughs> One will suffice, but thank you. I'll sit down. I don't have the ship here, if that's what you're looking for. In the lake. <laughs> I was expecting it to burst through these doors any second. Sits atop the citadel no. for your leisure. What can I do for I you? I did wish to thank you for that. For what? That is a most, a most gracious gift. I mean, your sister's getting so, one as well. It's kind of what we do for wedding presents. <laughs> well, between you and me, I know that hers will probably be a bit more impressive, but that is to be expected. Yes, she's first in line. Of course. But I dare say that I have learned, uh, as you know, few outside of your house here are experts on nautical matters, mm -hmm. anything maritime related in general. Yes. But I have, uh, I have started to pick up a thing or two on the surface. There's a lot more there to be seen on the matter of, I don't know what you would say, shipcraft, boatcraft. I don't know if there's a term for it. Continue. But anyway. it is, yeah. it is the most interesting. I have grown to appreciate it somewhat, traveling along the oceans. I can see, uh, I can see why your house finds it a worthy pursuit. We do. And the kingdom that well, I have found myself residing in at the moment, Burton is most famous for its naval. How does Prince Bright? That Dez, is a common misconception. <laughs> that is a common misconception. I've heard many people from afar calling it that. It was a short time for Bright Town or something. All right, but Bright Town, right, Burton. But okay, they're most. <laughs> I have to canonize it eventually. That it's a mis. I, I play Tiny <laughs> Tina's Wonderland right as we're starting this campaign. I have, to do, to. I have <laughs> to do it to you. I have to do it to you. I think that's the common pronunciation that people from Serok and Safasa have for it. Oh. Um, but it is um, renowned across the world for having the most uh, advanced navy on the surface. Really? Indeed. I was going to perhaps uh, extend the offer that if one of your house or... Yeah, Someone, anyone within your house, wish to return with me to allow them an experience to see the differences 
and uh, shipcraft between the surface and the world below. Very different, and they don't quite hold a measure to our own, but it is a uh, interesting compar- comparison to make. Hmm. My eldest Marin will go with you. He is a perfect. He is a good naval captain. Let's see how these surface dwellers stack up. Wonderful. I'm sure he'll find it very enlightening. Yeah, possibly. Is there anything else you I want? Think... No. <laughs> Wanted to extend the offer and to thank you for the wonderful gift that you have presented to us. Oh. There's nothing really, but I appreciate the thank you. Of course. I hope you enjoy the rest of the night. Uh, it's a dinner. <laughs> I know. I hope it you is, uh... enjoy your rest of your night. <laughs> Thank you. Your father certainly looks like it. Yes, he and the rest of the Tarandins are certainly making the most of the dance floor over there. Don't know what my mother thinks, but... I imagine she is dismayed just as much as the rest. I'm inspired to see here, Fridayam. Oh no, look, there they go. As you see, as Tarandin and Fridayam, a year, a, a, a year, Fridayam, are quite friendly, although... A year her diam is not friendly with Thalkel's ear, they are friendly with Tarandin. And they it's like the wives and daughters are all cringing to Max capacity. But it's like this has turned mm-hmm. into a the boys party. For, this is the boys dinner. This is like this is a victory dinner for fucking war, and we went to war. Let's celebrate. And we it's, will fucking celebrate. Yeah, it's like the wives can only sigh so much. Let's go. We'll suffer the consequences tomorrow. Yeah. You are muted. Uh, you're muted. During Brian, that time, Brian, Brian. seeing things get a bit more, like, boisterous and seeing, like, how much fun, like, Zilly and the other kids are, are now having. That, that They're safe. They're more comfortable now. Zemaya's going to try to sneak away a bit and, and join in on the conversation. Yeah. He's going to, like... Eh. Okay. You're quite Hi. a dancer, ladies of Marnie. Thank you. I, I've done a lot of it. It shows. I personally was born with two left feet, though. So. Dance on a boat, though. Good sea legs. Hmm. If we've, we've all got, got our strengths and weaknesses. And I don't think I could ever make a boat. <laughs> I don't think I could either, but I could sail the shit out of one. <laughs> My family can make that. them, though. I could fly alongside it, but I don't think I could sail it. I can't fly. Or my two left wings. I can't do either. <laughs> well, poor you. You can't have everything. You've already got like you know the intelligence, the whole you know, putting a god back together shit. Let mm. someone else. No, it work that. <laughs> it definitely worked. The ladies' money. Are you pregnant? Currently, no. Not as far as I know, at least. Currently, no. But you're trying. You could say that. Yeah, well, keep us in mind. I know half elvins will. Which yours, if they survive the Carson view, sure. But Manyazi is always looking for ties to bring us close together. For the thought, that's quite gracious of you. Mm. Inside Zamaya's head, she's like, I'm not forcing any of my children to marry anybody. You can't make me. Is <laughs> um smart moves, though, Carson. Yeah, half elven maturity rate is much easier than the elven, you know. A bad move. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Well, Cal just in his mind, I mean, like, I definitely did not think about any of that. That was not my intention. Like, cool. Would, would they also still be fiendish? I don't know. That would be kind we of have very few tieflings in the world below. Some of them have... Yeah. ...have had offspring with Starless, and it's not always a guarantee. Hmm. Seems to be a strong gene that runs in them, though. Yes. I suppose that is something to be tested. <laughs> what a word I can call you. Yeah. Tested with experimentation. 
There'll be Thalcals here all the same. As we've got horns, hoofs, tails, three eyes, four eyes, whatever they may have. Thankfully, I didn't have to worry about the whole hoofs issue. Have you thought about um, any betrothal for your daughter Zelly? I know she's currently containing 11 other children inside of her. But she seems a bright young sort. Thank you. She She's absolutely marvelous. Um, currently, we, we hadn't thought about it because we we are unsure of her actual aging process or capabilities as of right now. As far mm. as we know, she may be a child forever. Well, if you can figure out how to get him the old lady, I'm pretty sure she would make a good pairing with the Rathiri Kalan. Speak to Diavidia. She would like that. Do I know who, who that is? That's the Narconeth, but not Evening Tide family. Got it. Cool. Other wizards but more open to communication. Mm -hmm. They're the wizards yes. who more care about teaching everyone together rather than having just evening tides be the smartest. They're the ones who gave Callison a collection of his favorite books that he checked out the most of as a child in the library. Cool. Going yeah. by gifts would be really helpful for my brain because all of those names are just one big word soup. Yeah, there's a lot of word soup. Yeah. Thank you. I, I deeply appreciate it. Look, I'm not exactly a matchmaker, and your mother may have different plans for you. That's quite fair. I'm still getting used to this whole royalty thinking about who your children are going to marry. and It's an important one. You'll piss off a lot of people if you do it the wrong way. Mm -hmm, just like I did. Just like you did. Just but you've got like an excuse, at least. Yeah, the whole, like, saving the god of your people thing. No, this one. Tail. Oh, that too, yeah. <laughs> that's the rumor that's going around the tables, by the way. He's done it for the tail. Oh, it's quite the funny one. <laughs> Look, out of all the rumors that could go around, I'm not that smart way worse. The well, there's plenty yeah. of them. She's pregnant, yeah. you're pregnant. It's got a tail, it's full of wings. Um, the wings are quite fun. That's fun. She's actually a part of the dying gods, and you're just concealing her. There's plenty. Mm -hmm. Really? That is... um Interesting. Very interesting. Mm. They say he, she's the, um, you know, yeah. Sex chocolate. But... Ah, yeah. Mm, got it. Right. I've been trying I to mean... be on my best behavior. I've been doing my best. Right. You've been wonderfully. Don't worry. There's also a rumor going around that she is a succubus from the hells. I'm to take <laughs> oh. yeah. Of course, There's lots. of course. The usual. The usual. I mean, rumors, I, I've met argument. one before, but I mean, I've, uh, no. Well, look. Manyazi cares little for that. Succubi, specifically, or? Oh, just rumors. Oh, let's see. I don't like the idle well, chatter, of course. No. <sighs> A lot of people take too much pleasure in drawing that, though. I mean, it's a little funny at times. Yeah, there can be yeah. a fun balance. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. You're dismissed. I'm... <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry for interrupting. I hope All you right. have Thank a you. wonderful rest of your evening. I'll try. I don't care much for conversation. It's understandable. We'll leave you to it then. Mm -hmm. So, who do you want to talk to next, Cal? I know you, you, you've got a long list in your head. Yes, I did want you to speak to House, House, House. Just uh, tell me Kavala. the gift, and, and we'll figure the names out later. Spider, Spider Riders. Got it. Um, Caval yep. uh, <laughs> Conduma. Caval Conduma. I did wish to speak to Lady Valeria. I like the idea that the spiders actually just look like jump, like you know, cute little fuzzy jumping spiders, just really big. <laughs> just blown up. Well, they're covered in like shit they... in his armor with like a big visor across all their eyes. Don't ruin the image, Diz. Let me, uh, let me. I've described them before. I can go back and get them. <laughs> yeah. I know you have, but I don't like it. So let me have the no, fuzzy little jumping spiders. <laughs> no. I know. <laughs> They're, I um, they're literally, horrifying. You you started describing her, and I immediately sent her off. Don't let him give a spider. Please don't let him give a spider. And I said, what if it's like a little spider that goes inside the flower that was given? It makes it its home. So, um, she's... these is are a very important family for us to try and befriend. No pressure right. or anything, but 
Oh yeah, no, nothing about this has been no, happening no. pressure at all. How are you finding it, though? Are you all right? We can talk about it later. I don't want to distra distract from the evening. Of course. <laughs> you know Zamani enough to know that that is her saying, I don't want to be rude. Please don't ask me that again in public. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're an important people to, to get to know. Yep. Yep. So you approach them. What are they doing? Who are they sitting with? Like, what is this? No, they have their family with? table. It's very because unbecoming of the matriarchs to move around. Yeah. Yeah. But they are the, like, they're very neutral from the south. Well, can do like, they, yeah, they're pretty, like, they they give Katari to the Eriks and they give it to the Inquisition. They they want freedom. They're like the house that want to, like, mm -hmm. expand an adventure. Mm hmm. So they're pretty neutral. Pretty strong, yeah, I mean, but pretty neutral. An amazing mm -hmm. adventure would be the service. Mm hmm. It's up to you to approach Lady Falaria. Yeah, I'll approach them up. Hello. Lady Falaria. I hope <laughs> you don't mind if we take some of your time. No, I half expected one of the royal couples at least to make their way to me. <laughs> well, I'm happy Thank that you it's again me. to the Qatari. Yeah. Thank me when you've gotten used to riding them. I do need to adjust the saddle for you. I thought you'd be taller. Thank you. I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> You're not disappointing, it's just... Sure. Yes, that's fair. Not all of us can just sprout a foot overnight. And you just look so freaking... Unintended uh, side effects. Sorry, it's still about the same height as the largest saddles for our taller elves. See? Well, so, still fits in. <laughs> but riding a Katari is a... Uh, unusual process to get used to. But one that is quite a delight once you do. I mean, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to sell me <laughs> on it. You know, born in the saddle, as it is often said about your family. The finest riders and the finest Qatari. <laughs> All right, what's the Valerie words for? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get to Do you want a third Qatari? No, no. Well, now that you mention it. I do have a younger one that would suit your child. Oh, she'd she'd love it. Wouldn't know what to now do with stuff over it. <laughs> I mean, still needs a bit of training, but so sure. she. <laughs> I am all right. Curious how they'll adapt to the surface. That was could that have been in his head. I that was my tongue slip. And no, I I'm gonna let that like... tongue slip happen. <laughs> yeah. I just we're all just trying to get used to to a new livelihood. No, that's mm -hmm. that's absolutely fine. Um. Tritin. I'm curious to see how the Qatari will adapt to the surface. I think the, the, the Tritonus visor should help their eyes with the sun anyway. Um, it, I imagine it will. be quite the adventure to take them up there. Have them explore the would be unbounded, unbounded have any of your fields family, and plains. Have any of your family been to the surface? No, we had um, a few of Kaval Kanduma initially left with it's kind of to get ready to the surface, but just like his Katari didn't make it to the surface, neither did my my kin. I'm very sorry to hear that. Yeah, they're an offshoot offshoot branch, but they survived. They survived, but it's just it's I would say close as as close to the opposite as you could get down here as possible. Yeah, you can't really we climb have... on the sky there, can you? No, but you can. We do have. No. I can. <laughs> we do have horses though, which. Function a similar purpose over land. I feel like they're, they're slightly the same, more impractical by design. They only have four legs. They, they do have four, four legs. legs. Whereas, imagine some of the great forests that we have. The guitar would be quite practical. They'd be able to scale the trees. Yes, in the, in the, the, the wood root forest, forests. Yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. Actually, it'd be quite interesting to be see them for in the, the woods. Horses, I guess it just depends on the. I think technically they are from the wood. Just the wood yeah, below. The wood below. <laughs> the wood below. Are there abilities to go up into the wood from down here? I am. You'd have to dig, I believe. Oh. But the roots of the trees stretch into. That's where we our Katari farms are close to. Oh, what are the passageways to the wood below that some of the Lenarian had? Yes. But are they known about? Not to the Starless. Oh, okay, interesting. They don't know everything about the wood below. They are the best of Dan there, but they don't know everything. Gotcha, Nobody knows everything. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Um, no, it'd be quite a quite the sight, I'm sure, for many people, seeing several Kataris scuttle across the fields. Definitely a surprise. I shall enjoy it. I shall enjoy it. I heard that your people um, love adventure and ex exploration. Yeah, fair few, fair few starless willingly ex wander past the gates of civilization down here, but that'd be That's fair. interesting. It's fun. Yeah. It sounds like it. I've I've heard a lot, most of about how dangerous it is. Oh, it's very dangerous. I probably lost more more family to the dangers than to disease or sickness or old age. Mm-hmm. That's the uh, rumor about Kaval Kondum, isn't it? We don't die old. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. if you ever wish to extend that adventure to the surface, just let us know. What if I could, my child? I am... I am a matriarch of a great house. Getting out of Ishtar Alexander is a difficult task. That's fair. Well, of it course. extends to you and yours as well. That's an interesting proposition. I do not know how well the Qatari would face or well, be enjoyable to ride on the surface if there's no walls and roofs to climb on. I mean, it's half the fun is to be strapped to them hanging off. That's you know, true. One failure that of a true. buckle to your death. True. Well, we don't is... have that. But we do have fields of grasses and flowers and forest and trees. It is not as constrained as it is in the world below. No great stone passageways or tunnels to block your passage. Much more the breeze of an unrestricted. Is very nice. That is something that I do miss. Well, I shall pass it along to some of my family members who are not so much bound by duty to stay in the world below if they so wish to. But traveling to the world above is dangerous. So I'm yes. sure they'll probably try and die along the way. <laughs> Understood. Well, we'll be sure to welcome any that make it. Mm hmm. Zamani definitely, like, has a question in her mind of, like, is the teleportation a lot more rare than I thought it was because of the advancement of magic? Hmm. Because Zamani would have assumed, based off of, like, previous just, like, experience and, like, talk of how, like, magical and everything is that they would just have the ability to teleport as one of the great noble houses. You're not sure. It took Kalos into your months to even get to the surface from the passage race. Mm -hmm. Teleportation isn't uncommon, but teleportation to the surface is difficult as I've never been. That's mm -hmm. fair. Well, th they're starting to have more people who have been, so... Yeah, so then yeah. if she wanted to, she'd have to ask a favor of House Triathery to get Ruventir to teleport them, or mm -hmm. Irelin. She'd have to ask a favor of another noble house, which means she's now indebted to a noble house. Uh, okay, that, that's understandable. It'd be very easy for Shia Terry to get to the mm -hmm. surface now. The, sur the Inquisition has good access to the surface. Yeah, yeah the, the oh. even entire tower and the Inquisition both have mm. yeah, good access. Well, I, I know that it's it's quite soon, but we are going to be teleporting back in a few days. If there is anybody who would like to come, they could come with the sun. Arranging something in a matter of days is not something that's easy for most starless. <laughs> that's fair. I, I forget mm. how your long life spans end up making you think about things a bit longer than I'm used to. Mm -hmm. yes, but it does stand. Well, um, I will. Um, I will have a shari ready for your child then. Thank you. Was not expecting a uh, a child, so I didn't have one ready. No, I think it's completely understandable. I could even... No, perhaps it's a bit much work if you don't have any. I was going to offer to give you an egg sack of Shiatari to rear on the surface. Well, perhaps when we have the facilities... Hmm, perhaps when we have the facilities to ensure that they are... Well, <laughs> Screams safe. and kills here wanting them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, he's going to have a great time with the three that we have be forgetting. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Bringing three, Kelsey is going to be like, hyperventilating, just watching them. Like, what are these? What the fuck are these? I love them. Yeah. I want to I study them. Please, let me. 
Okay, so I was about to be like, Kazu, you have a present. Um. Yes. I, I don't wish to take up any more of your time than, than is appropriate. Well, many people will take much of my time tonight, so I welcome any calm conversation. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Your and thank you most, uh, most importantly for those wonderful gifts of yours. All right. Yeah, customary. It's fair. It's still appreciated, though. Especially to someone who's still learning customs. <laughs> yeah. Learn quick or be eaten alive by the noble houses. Yes. Yeah. Fair. Thank you again. I was like, as we wander away, somebody's like, I like the ones that are frank. <laughs> <laughs> they are the best. And thankfully, most of them are the ones that like us. It's honest about it. That's fair. Who would you, Who do you want to talk to, to now? next? I was going to take a little break from seeing like the great houses and everything. I want to see Erlen if he's around the place. Yeah. He's security detail as per usual in the... Actually, no, he's not security detail. He's at the table with the other leaders of the Inquisition. Uh, <sighs> let's go, gamer. Time to do this. All right, Inquisition time. Let's go. Zamani, if you want to accompany me, I'm about to head over to the Inquisition table. However, oh, if would you, you do not wish to be present, you defend for yourself. That's We're here, we're in the same room. It would look a bit wrong, probably, for me to walk away from you than to you to walk up to the Inquisition. It would. It would. But... It's fine. You just look over her shoulder to make sure that Zelly's still having a nice time, and as long she as is. that's going fine. Yeah, it's hard down. She's just like, you see, like, maybe three of the children just stand out in Amrathen's arms, and like, and Edith's kind of just like slung over the shoulder. And he's just got like, hands the children, he's just like talking to people. Just... <laughs> Being a grandfather is very becoming of him. I'm glad. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. I'm glad that they... Yep. Like, but they yes, good. I'll make my Let's way. Let's go. Okay, you make your way. The faces just turn. The leader of House Shaitheri, along with Grandmistress Veldris, Inquisitor General Kaelvir, your cousin, Inquisitor General Elnya Nerith. And... The body's good at... Uh, say hi to all of them is the appropriate way, making sure to use first names to show that she is above them, and yes. she, then she's going to say, Aurelius, it's so lovely to see you again. Hello. Um, sorry, this is new. Um, excuse sorry, me, generals, and my lady, Chayatheri. Um, I must go speak to my childhood comrade and our fellow Inquisition member, do not forget, the Prince of <laughs> India. <laughs> see, kind of looks you. <laughs> and, um, he yeah. walks off, brings you off. Oh, just, yeah. Why yeah, are you was. walking over to me at the Inquisition table? Uh, that was. See, I was hoping to catch you the whole night, seeing you walk off, perhaps, you know, to get a drink. No, or no, no. Your something. mother just assigned me Inquisitor General. I heard that. Trying to marry that me is... to your fucking sister. I heard about that as well. Yeah, it's kind of problem there, isn't there, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? Hey. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm about to teleport this entire fucking people away. <laughs> you want to fix this for me? For old time's sake? <laughs> I'll try my best. Give me a new hand. Anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of anything I want, I wouldn't mind... Okay, no, not anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't worry, it's not that bad. It's just a few words to your family to perhaps make them okay, go a bit no. more... Okay, uh... no. I'm adopted. You know this. But you... But they do listen to you, and they do... Well, you are the prodigy of their house, whether you're abducted yeah, or not. Yeah, no, they want me to marry your sister. You're I'm about to piss a lot of people off. I'm going to piss the queen off, and I'm going to piss my family off, because my best buddy's marrying for love, and I will fucking too. It like... would have been so much more simple if she just let you go to the surface and we had you both up yeah, there. Yeah, no, no, no. Mr. Me wants friends in the fucking Inquisition so he doesn't get murdered. <laughs> as, as I mean, I do appreciate mind, like, that. Very, 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 very hush. And like very much like trying to talk without out moving her lips, just kind of like letting them them talk. She's definitely going to be like, hey, if worse comes worse, you can always run away to Ariel. 
I know it's definitely an opportunity for me. I've thought about it much. <laughs> He's just like, we have right. wonderful views. <laughs> yeah, no, I figured that. That's why I wanted to be on the fucking surface in the first place. <laughs> we need a plan that doesn't upset my mother, that doesn't upset your family, and which doesn't he wants upset me to position. kill them. Oh. I mean, that sounds... I mean, that's one way to get rid that of That sounds him. wonderful. Um... Yeah, for you! <laughs> I'll help you. No, you fucking won't. You're not an assassin. Hey, know, how about we talk about this in in more more less discreet terms later when maybe we go out for drinks? Yeah, there's a guy. We bring him drinks. And, like, pray him glass. Just like Shay. He's like, what? And he's just he's like, takes them. Like, what are you like, looking at? Thank you so much. <laughs> That's it's like I greatly appreciate. Thank you. Right, right, right. So we need to think of it. We need to formulate a plan. Rylan? We need to think for Raph, No, that's that's a Relin right now. Trying to stay like he needs to cope. Yep. You know what? Well, poor You're Relin. right. <clears throat> yes, my prince, I will bring us there immediately. As he as a gay just as you, you find yourself just brought to your room. Wasn't was that your whole thing? Wasn't that your whole thing? No oh no, 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 no. You know who that ping goes to? You know who that ping goes to me, Prince Callus India? It goes to me. Ooh, Grab both oh, elbows really? and I'm gonna start walking through the thing. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're all hooking elbows we're walking through the I portal i always miss you you know that i always miss you you know what where are we um it's definitely not an illegal tower oh okay Perfect. um any... the best place to be definitely not illegal places anyways um so we need to fix this we do need to fix and this we also your need mother you to wants teleport me to kill... a boat for us Please? yes a boat or a ship the boat and the Please? boat yeah the Fill ship that was given as a wedding present. We need to fill it with the rocks. resources. I'm gonna fill a boat with rocks. It's gonna sink. Well. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But we, we know way, we need the boat. We need It'll the boat, and we need the stones teleported. So I need some fucking surface. stones to kill the Inquisition. Okay. I mean, so I'm, I'm not curious, an assassin, was, but I am was, a sniper. I can help you. What was my mother's plan? Did you You're not helping me. None of you are fucking it? helping me because if I get caught so, and you get caught with me, that's a problem for the fucking crowd. So, I mean, she was expecting yeah, you to true. wipe out all of, them, all of the all three leaders. No, no, the one's a fan of you. Okay. Nerith well, is, good. yes, but... but so two. That won't two solve the fucking issue. The Inquisition goes so much deeper than that. Well, I mean, it will when she fills it with my fucking bride-to-be, your sister. Alright. Your mother wants me to kill fucking either. Lady Vildris, the not just like the, the lead four, the Grand Mistress of the Inquisition. This fucking bitch is probably eight hundred and seventy odd years old. Probably should be dead for an elf, I don't know why. Why not just send her to this <laughs> invite her to an expedition on the surface? You know what? It might be easy, yes. Just invited to an expedition on the surface. No, I the kill them! It's not an no, expedition. I'm saying that it, if right. they go to the right. surface right. and an accident happens because, oh, fuck, look, yeah, a no. dragon. Okay. First of all, dragons are real. Second. Do they? Yes, they no, are. I'm messing with you. they are real. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. no. They're very real. <laughs> no, no way. So, first of all, I can't tell Vildris to go anywhere. Oh, no, I'm not saying that you tell her. No, no one could... tells her. Even the crown. Oh. I mean... <laughs> Your mother wants arrange, me dead. That's... We could arrange an influence. There's no arranging. Right? Oh, no, my mother wants my mother wants you dead. She wants to marry you to Val. That is a death sentence in itself. I've I met your sister. Like to... I don't want to marry your sister. She's in the Inquisition. Yes. I'm curious, where does she stand? Your sister? Yeah. I don't know. She's probably back at the party. You know what I mean. Oh, you're stressed, huh? Trying to crack it up with some humor. No, she's fine with it. She knows it's her duty to marry someone. It would strengthen the unity between no, the houses. No, 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 no. And Where I mean, does she stand the in the Inquisition? Inquisition? She's loyal to you. She's her fucking sister. I know that. But my cousin is also on the council. The yeah, Inquisition, no, no, he's as gone said, too. It runs deep. Yeah, he's going as well. I know that. And that's why I'm curious if she's lent over more to that side. The Inquisition can be persuasive when they want to be. You know that. I know that. Oh, yeah. No, don't worry, it's killing the leaders easy. I fill it with people that are loyal to you, selected by me and your mother. Right, and then right. basically I start cutting things out with surgical precision, and I tell you there's probably a better man for the job than I am. Who? I mean, I mean no, 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 any no, no, other no, no. mage. Who? You are the greatest mage. I'm a mage. Have. No, you're I'm not. certainly one of the mages of all time. Shut up. Every 
every single person I've ever seen. <laughs> Name so all the, the mages. The best. Name well, all no, the mages. I saw some dude blow a three hundred foot long hole in the Emperor of Ghouls' hold. I mean, he could I do it? Yes, but I don't know if I could. Okay, but he was only able to do that by literally eviscerating his soul. Oof. And I don't mean like resurrection wise. I mean like he and, he's gone. And through the use of sapper stone as well. That's cheating. Exactly. So it was a lot of the process involved in that. It wasn't just a snap of his face. Look, he could deal with that. Fucking hole. You are the best mage on in the he's world. He's gone. One of them. Dude, if you could bring and, him back for it, sure. I think I can. I mean, I'm not resurrection. One... I don't do fucking divine magic. I exactly. think there's only one or two mages that I know that are perhaps just as capable as you. Not Dude. even more capable, just as capable. Your mother wants me to kill people. That's fine. I kill people. That's my job. You've killed people. I was going to say, we've killed people. Why, why is that? I mean, that's fair. Look, I've it's killed my job. I killed people in the Inquisition. That was part of the training. We killed no, people. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. I had a assassin for the Inquisition, but that generally does not involve in the job description. Give me the fucking Inquisition! That means you know them best. You know how to circumnavigate all of their defenses, all of their security procedures. You know it better than anyone else. I'm going to die. I'm going to die a horrible, think... gruesome death. You're not by some going arcane to die. You're not allowed. He's got two friends. You're not allowed to die. I will, I will make sure you don't bloody well die, alright? Now, I can stop this marriage, potentially. I cannot stop my mother's political designs for you. That much is... The marriage is a political design, you numbskull. Oh, no, that is. <laughs> that is. But what I mean by that is in terms of getting you to assassinate the fucking heads of the Inquisition. That I cannot stop. Or you could just elope. Yeah, that's, yeah, no, that's a great way to lead to castration. Was that not a thing down here? Oh, no, I could elope, but I'm pretty sure the Queen would take my testicles for it. Some people are into right. that. I'm not! <laughs> Please neither step on me, sure, spit in, in my mouth a little bit, but I'm keeping I. them. Neither am I, just let oh, that be known. Oh, good to know. I don't I like don't... that. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> You're anyway. missing out, but... <laughs> yes. Try anything once. Yeah, but I feel like that you can only try once, then it's done. Yeah, but you know, you can only try once killing the Inquisition. That doesn't generally happen very well, or very often. I mean, look, what is worse, marrying my sister or killing the Inquisition? I think either leads to death for me, either by my beloved betrothed or by the Inquisition. Rat, rat, rat. Which would you rather be killed by? I'm going to stop it. Just, you know, do now. Just end me. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. No, thank you. You're not helping. Does, I'm told you're not allowed help. This is a job for me and me, but myself. What? How does Zildra? Have you spoken to her about all this? Yeah, no, she's not speaking to me. Oh. Yeah, because well, the I mean, queen really announced fair. my betrothal to your sister. Wait, she announced it? Yes. To the head of my family. Oh. That's not really Let's look at it this way. Worst comes to worst. Worst comes to worst. You break the betrothal, you run off, Miss Silver. And you disappear. You don't kill the heads of the Inquisition. Yeah, I don't or I don't you... kill the heads of the Inquisition, I leave them to kill you. You know there is you a plot on your life. You or don't you run off you and don't... you kill them. <laughs> How about you kill them, then you teleport the hell out of there? You've done part of your job. Hey, hey. I knew from the moment I decided to take you in as a friend, because let's be honest, it didn't go the other way around. Me, that makes me sound like I a knew lost, you'd be strange trouble. puppy on the streets. You are a lost little puppy. What do you mean? Okay, that's my little fancy, puppy, but... but you're a lost little puppy. Wait, did that do something for you, kind of send here? <laughs> A little bit, but yeah, anyway. Um... <laughs> I have to kill the Inquisition. Not anyone else. Leaders, right, you've got right, a lot on your plate. You're bringing back a god. Bountiful and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well. How can we help you? You can't. Then why, why... Then why did you fucking make it sound like I could help you? I thought you were going to propose something. No, Ooh. you said we should talk about this somewhere else. I brought you to definitely not an illegal tower. 
No, I you said that if we're going to talk about it, we should talk room. about it not in the middle of the party. That's what I, know, I, said. I wanted to yell at him. Oh, okay. See, well, you should have just opened with that. It's pretty fun. You know what? When I start I my conversations of yelling at people, I don't say I'm going to yell at you now. Just give me a second. I didn't oh, I, I didn't, didn't have a part in this. I was quite happy to have you both, you and Zilla, live happily on the surface with me at RIL. That was my plan. That was my plan all along. And you know that. I mean, he has and actually you know talked about it on several occasions. I wouldn't send you on some suicide mission like that. <laughs> I mean, I think a solid 70% chance it's not a suicide mission. It's really... It's not. I would put it down to probably more of a 60% chance of you, you know. Dying? 60% chance of success, right? No, of, no, of not dying. Yeah, I was saying 70% chance of success. I thought you were talking the other way. No, so I think you, you'll succeed you no matter it. what. No, no, see, I think you'll succeed no matter what, but the process is if you'll die in, in the process of doing it. You'll succeed. You will kill them. Yeah, no, probably. Look, at the very least, I know how to take people down when I'm going down. Precisely. You will kill them. I mean... Oh, your cousin's the easy one. He's a fucking cook. I mean, not literally. Fair. I just don't like the guy. I mean, he could be. You don't know. I really don't. Anyways, um, how about this? Even if you do die, we can resurrect you. Right? Yeah, no, no, no. That's not going to work. Why, Why isn't not? that going to work? Why not? No, this is story time. There's very... Mm -hmm. How mm. often have you died? A few? More than more than me. Same. I don't know how many times you've died. I've died more than you. Don't even. No, I, I know, but this is a bonding experience. We can talk about how many times we've died. This is Not bonding. exactly the usual thing to bond over. Well, well if you're talking again. about my training when I was broke apart and put back together again, 11. That's a lot. I mean, I'm not so much a person as I am a product. I've been that before. I have no love for my house, but they made me the mage I am today, for better or worse. Yeah. I'm I'm all right. <laughs> Talking, yeah. Times I was put apart, back together. Two missions on thirteen, thirteen times. Thirteen. Okay. So let's let's talk time. My cell's yeah. pretty sundered. I don't even know if I still, strictly speaking, have one or if I'm just magic in a bottle. Huh. We're Stop. not just magic in a bottle, right? Stop. <laughs> I see where your mind's going. No, you think you see where it's going. No, and I'm pretty sure part. I know you. If I know what you... So, read it by his face, about... by where your mind is going. <laughs> That's fair. Let's talk about time frames here. That's the same. You leave, you, you're banned in this mission, you leave it go. How long do you think I would have before the Inquisition tries to apprehend me, execute me, kill me, torture me, whatever? Also, would it I potentially have? make raise our chances of us killing them without you dying if we do that anyways? Going to civil war and a lot of starless and I? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Yeah, then they'll do that. No, oh, okay. How long do we have before they would put that plan into process? When are you leaving the city? Oh, great. Uh, in like three or four days. Because you know they want me to sabotage the exit. So, I'm either meant to kill you side of the Inquisition or kill them side of the crown. Well, that's oh. the thing. Well, then that changes the fucking question, doesn't it? Yeah. So you we have didn't know three that choices. Part. You have three choices here. Kill me. Betray the crown. Do everything. I mean, I look better with the stars than you do. I disagree thoroughly, <laughs> but... I, I mean, if I grew an extra foot taller, it would actually matter because I'm tall as is. I mean, that's why it matters for me. It allows me to catch up to the rest of you. Can we, can we stop with this height comparison bullshit? I have never anyway, going to catch up. Anyway. I'm not used to being the short one. Either you betray the crown, Enough. betray the guiding light, betray me yeah. and kill me. No, betray all three of these things and you become an outcast to everyone but to the Inquisition. You kill the Inquisition. You will succeed. You will more than likely survive the attempt. You will probably have to marry my sister. Or there's the third option of that you run away, you abandon all this altogether. Yeah, and you, you have everyone that... chasing after you. Or yeah. perhaps there is an amalgamation of various options here, not ex excluding the first one, because obviously you're not going to kill me. I really hope not. I really hope not, because that would be... Why else would I bring you here? I'm going to go come with you. <laughs> that was a good one. You that was a good one. You had me for a second. Anyway, 
Wait, what if you kill him? Do you guys do the thing down here where you marry someone and then you just pretend to be married and then you actually, in secret, marry the person that you actually love? Well, yeah, but the problem is we're going to have to shoot out a few kids for Thalcar's year to have marriage proposals. All right. But he is an I mean, idea that... They fall in love with somebody else and it's the same thing and no one would ever know. Mm -hmm. I don't think Val's capable of love. No. Huh. I mean, I for Fletcher, I guess. Her duty. How about this, though? As a potential solution, this is may seem a little far-fetched, but we're group I'm activity. leaving it up to you. I mean, we're making deals. <laughs> I'm... I've got a queen's house about... upstairs. <laughs> I mean, I can finish you and finish you if you want. We'll be done with this. No, that's not the path we're going then. <laughs> no, you're the flustered one. I've never seen that before. I would never play us back. This is so fun. <laughs> right. I'm so doing it. What I was I'm doing it. Players... I'm going to kill them. I just. Okay. How about this? Stressed. How about this though? How about this? Your though? plans are awful. No. I'm trying no. to provide you with solutions. You, I'm trying to provide alternatives here. Right? I mean, I'm I don't think I've got many alternatives. I'm not abandoning you. Right. I didn't think Aww. so. But how, about, how about this? Hey. And this is dangerous. Oh, no. Did that do something for you this time? <laughs> no, not that time. I was kind of in a bit of a uh, on top of the world, if you get me, not on the bottom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Right, but anyway. Kind of cute. You the loyalty kill them. thing. Yeah, but you like a sexy and but... standing and strong way. Mm, oh, definitely. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. So sorry. Go ahead. Yes, please. Please continue with your perfect plan. It's not perfect by any means, but it is an alternative. You eliminate the heads of the Inquisition, but you fake your own death in the process. <laughs> no, because then how am I going to be able to fake myself? Look, I already know what I'm doing. My mind there is made up. There are magics to train. There are... Yes, it, precisely. But what if you leave for the surface? You can fake your death. But then also, your other friend would also have to fake their death or abandon all of their... Or she comes to Ariana, grieving after the death of Rivillin. She comes to the surface to be with her remaining friend. So with the whole reason why... We have more friends than you, being... by the way. You I'm have sorry? two friends. We, we do have a few friends. Please, so, my entire family, no one has fucking friends out of all my siblings besides Zelda Cal. No, Cal has a lot of... Yeah, no. <laughs> That's, That's why I said him. Anyways. None of us do. I have more than the rest of them. <laughs> but the whole, well. reason, the whole reason why the murders are happening is because... Dun, 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 these ones are going to be sitting on, on, on in those seats. It's not just, okay, murder, haha, our job is done. Like, you have to solve part B as well. Yeah, no, I do have to cut out the cancer of the of the Inquisition. I'm gonna do it. Like a... I'm gonna do it. I'm just stressed. Okay, well, you're allowed to be stressed. Is there anything that we can do to help? You're not I know allowed. you say no, 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 you can't no. help, but I know. No, no, I mean, no. in... that, by that. the Queen's orders, you cannot help. Okay, I didn't mean directly necessarily. No, same. Like at all. You realize Maybe you that know we're... about this. Probably has me in trouble, and he's a snitch. I'm, just I don't know to do why good everyone has bit. fucking said that about me. I don't know who spread that. It's probably Cal or one of my other siblings. I am not a bloody snitch. Val told me. Oh, of course she would. Of course she would. Typical. Be fair, he's trying. I am not a snitch. I'll get rid of them. Okay, I'll get rid of them. Get I over them. it. But I will do my darndest because you are so lost without me. I don't even think you would have made it to your time in the Inquisition. I don't think you could have found the books to make the pact you did without me. No, you probably could have. You're pretty good oh, at books. I did that before I met you. Yeah, but probably we get all as part of the plan to meet me, let's be honest. Oh, of course, yes. I did. I started this whole thing so I could meet you. I mean, I would. You know what? I may not have, but I certainly don't regret it for a second. I don't regret it either, brother. If you do I'll want me to try and annul, annul your marriage, I can try. Question. Who I can't kill the queen. No, no, no. 
No, I don't want that. Who specifically is not allowed to help? You all. If... No, no, no. Specifically. Who is you all? I mean, I don't have an itemized list, but... Let's say broad flagship, the Kingfishers. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Thalcans, your family. And the Kingfishers. I'm not allowed to take the... I'm not allowed... To... Anything that would basically do harm to the Thalcalzia name by proxy. So that means if it's any of your allies or anything like that, I can't do it. I don't really would need Zilver it. Help you. I can Zilver bring Silver into this. To be fair, she's also not talking to him. Did you want me to try and speak with her? Maybe. I'll do it. Look, I'm going to. I'll kill them for you. I will kill them for you. I'm not going to let anyone plan an assassination. Not Wait, for the shards, not for the shards. You're not allowed I to die either. I appreciate it because I figured that I'd probably have to try and kill them myself otherwise. And yeah, and look, you're probably not going to do take off the. Uh, uh. Also, first of all, it's meant to be me. Remember that. <laughs> if it's happening, it's meant to be your teleportation back and meant to be sabotaged. Precisely. Yes. Yeah, so, there's going to be a few people around. Good farewell, goodbye. Boom, trouble if you fight back against the Inquisition. Guess what? A lot of people in the process. It's going to be a big, messy thing. Get rid of them. I'm going to do it tonight or tomorrow. Don't worry. Getting it done. Definitely not planning in my illegal tower. <laughs> so why is your tower illegal? It's not like... It is. What? It's legal. Perfectly, perfectly it is legal. legal. He, just likes, he just likes calling it illegal. I never got planning permission. Oh, hmm. one of those. Oh, the loitering kind of illegal. Mm -hmm. Got it. Also, it's technically invisible. Which is not meant to be. We're also about it's like... To be 63 free. miles from Mission Alexander that way. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. I mean, considering that you're capable of teleporting to places that successfully multiple times in a row that you've never been to while drunk, I don't think it. I've it. been here. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I was talking about uh, Lavoca, not Lavoca. I didn't Another go to Lavoca. I can't remember any of that. Uh, not Lavoca. We went to. to... Yundef. 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 I can't remember yes. that. Okay, yeah. so drunk that you were blackout. Great. Doesn't sound we like went to. You took us to Yundal, we went to the bathhouses, it was great, it was wonderful. Can't remember a thing. Oh, sorry, you lost some pretty good memories there. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember it forever. Okay. You're going to do this, uh, okay? You've decided, yes, you know, you're going to do this because you don't want you to die, and neither of you want there to be a, a giant civil war where a bunch of people are going to die. Mm -hmm. Just know, you're not allowed to die. Sound good? This is where you agree. I'll do my darndest. No, no, no. This is where you agree. As Prince Kalasindia Thalcalzia. Don't <laughs> give him another Prophet. royal decree. <laughs> you give him that. Prophet of the Dying World. Prophet of my house. Oh, please. That is the most sacrilegious thing you could possibly say. It is. I'll have to report you to the, to you to the Inquisition for that. Good. I'm committing heresy. <laughs> Like heresy my balls across your face. I'm going to fucking kill you. Maybe I'll just kill everyone. Heresy Question. I did not. Would something to make it harder to hit help you? No, honestly, if I'm getting to that stage, these people won't see me. They won't see me coming. Yes, is then, old. Then who are you worried about kill then why are you worried about dying? But I'm worried about dying anytime I do anything. Just ask him. Okay, but wait, wait, wait. If you think it's going to be easy to kill the people in charge. Do, do you, what, what? What is the part where you're worried about? Oh, the something part? always fucks up. Every, everything I've ever done, something always fucks up. Okay. So, something extra help keeping you from getting hurt would not be helpful then. Well, no. Also, the problem is if I get caught, I'm going to be executed because the crown can't be associated with it. Right. Which is where you teleport right. out, right? Yeah, which still means they can trace that I did it. And that's when you disappear into the wide world. Yeah, and be hunted for again. the rest of my life. But the bad part of the Inquisition, I didn't manage to cut out. To be fair, we've also met another person who is kind of in a similar boat. He's had a lovely life, apparently. Doubt it. <laughs> well, he found us, and he seems like he's all in one piece. And he seems excited. I mean, if you that's were his last point. resort, I also think the death would be better. Oh, please. We're a pleasure and delight. Yeah, you can kiss. 
Next life. Yeah. Whatever comes with me. Reincarnation of the what? No nobility. None. Zero. <laughs> not getting near it, not doing anything with it. It's quite a simpler That's way fair. of living, but going the exact opposite way isn't great either. Somebody Somewhere in the middle. middle. Yeah, yeah. You can blend in with the crowds, it's much better to do it. Oh, I could imagine you as some nice fat merchant somewhere. Like plenty of fast. electron. Filling your pockets. Sitting back in your chair all day. There's still a teaching position open for you, just saying. It's not a teacher. Like... I cannot teach. Have you ever tried? Well, uh, movement here. And look how that went. What, Quite well. A very capable person. By surface standards, very well. Incredibly not... useful. Yeah, and... Anyways, we're getting off oh, topic. Are, are you, do you yes. feel better after yelling? Yeah, a little do bit. Do you want a drink? Uh, do you want a drink? No. You want to? Okay. Uh, well, do you want to yell some more, or are, are you good? Mm -hmm. Okay. You really is our appreciate story for... slapping you, Callus, in you. Slap away. <laughs> Just fuck you. <laughs> As he opens a gate back to the crystal right. citadel. Deserved it. What? What is our ex our, our story? I went fuck. And he just walks through. You get to come up with a story, and so I just pats him on the shoulder and walks through. Walks through. So, as you make your way back, the party is drawn to a close, and so does our session. Yes. Nice. As Rylan <sighs> is set out to kill the Inquisition, so do mm -hmm. we end the session. We'll see you tomorrow for a mini session between me and Rap as he navigates the little political landscape that is the courts tomorrow. Until then, we'll also be back mm -hmm. Thursday. Until then, bye bye. See you guys. <laughs>